Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Girls Against Glory season finale. Uh, <laughs> we're very excited to have you guys here. We have a special somebody back. Which we're very, very Where is she? Where is she? Oh, you. It's, it's me. It's me. I'm back. Um, Hi, everybody. We have really, <laughs> greatly missed playing with her. So I miss you guys so much. I know. And this is so wonderful. So we'll but see I what that know. story has been as she's been in Schmulgaria. Schmulgaria. And has finally returned. <laughs> um, we do not have a giveaway today that I know of. I, do, I don't believe so. But the thing that we're going to give away is, is a lot of uh, emotion towards you and a lot of your attention to you. We, 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 we do? Yeah. We have a yeah, book? It's, uh, it's over there. Huh. Yeah, so we'll grab it at break and show you. One of these to give away as well. Yes. Oh. So you know what? If there's a modern chat, you can take down news and you know open up that raffle. Uh, let's do it. Maybe let's we'll give one away here and one away on our social media. So be sure to follow us at Girls yeah. Gets Glory on Twitter and Instagram, Instagram. Yeah. and uh, I mean, you can also follow us on Facebook. And we'll be giving it away on one of our social medias. So follow us on all of the platforms. And exclamation mark raffle if we do happen to open it in chat just to get the winner yeah, we'll if we one, don't we'll for do the book. In, yeah, we'll do a book giveaway and then a. Water bottle giveaway. All this that good one, stuff. Allie's currently the yes. exact we, we one. We just want to give things away. That's all. We, that's <laughs> this exact one, to and I'm not going to wash it before I send it to you. <laughs> if that's your thing, ew. <laughs> <laughs> but also, here you go. <laughs> but also, I guess it's an option. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we're really excited to have everybody here at the table, and uh, we're just going to take it off from there. Then, if if there's no other announcements that need to be made. All right. Let's get into it. Final so. game of this season. Uh, I have no I idea what's going to happen. We'll be back in a few weeks, hopefully. Yeah. If they say spring. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So, so, so a quick <laughs> recap. Um, you guys have all been busy in Waterdeep, taking care of a very, very big situation at hand. Things involving raids of the palace and strange creatures in the undermountain of Waterdeep. However, somebody has been on a little bit of a different journey. Um, they got a very small boat together, uh, <laughs> along with some allies, some good friends, <laughs> oh, me. Um, including good old half-orc wine and Edna, who also joined you not oh, too long. Right. Along, and not too she far was along. a trip. Um, and the three of you uh, have been on this. Yeah, Gylon. Gylon as well, and on this dinky rink little boat. <laughs> all of you guys here, set right? off. Yeah. Knowing that Tamith would stay on the ship and protect it, likely killing anybody who even tries to enter mm, it without mm. permission onto Farron's boat. Um, but you guys took a smaller one, have been just out on the treacherous seas of the Sword Coast, um, just trying to get to Schmulgaria, Ooh. which is Walton's homeland. Very far away. Very, very far away. And so you had to go almost on a 10-day journey through very dangerous waters with folks who are not particularly equipped for... There was a lot of upchucking. Is that what you call it here, upchucking? Mm -hmm. So much in the sea. It has been <clears throat> not the most pleasant experience. However, you did make it to land after nearly a 10 day of just trying to get through open water. And Edna has actually saved your butt several times, thanks to all of her magics, mm. which has made it a little bit easier for everybody. Uh, but when you did hit land, then the real trek, uh, trek began on foot. So now that you were all away from that seasickness, you guys could finally try to find a place to put Walton to rest. Yes. Um, and Janishka, this has been another almost 10 day plus. You walking on land, just trying to get by with all of your comrades and friends, like step by step, move by move. And you have not found a place yet to put down uh, Walton's ashes. Can you like give us a little bit of a glimpse of what this treacherous journey through Schmalgaria was like? Well, first of all, the food there stinks. Uh, some people say that the food can be compared to uh, Schmris, uh, but I think that's another land close by. Um, In the Schmontinent. Schmorania. Schmor yeah. yeah. Schmormania. I, I cannot say. Um, it was a hard name. There's a lot. Language there. barrier. In this 
particular world of Schmilgaria, mm. they mix sand into all of their food. Yeah, it's very so. grainy. It's very <laughs> grainy, and it does not taste like anything. And then there's something they call Philadelphia <laughs> in everything, uh, which we, we know uh, as cream cheese. <laughs> and they put Philadelphia on the, all of the foods in Schmogeri. It's very weird. And um, and I, I, you know, one I went to that, even to the Black Sea, the Black Forbidden Sea, to put his ashes there because this is where he's from, and he loves the water, and it's forbidden, and that's like our love is forbidden. I was like, okay, I'll put it there. And then I was attacked by a little creature. Uh, I have scars, but you cannot see. There's no zoom on the camera. Mm -hmm. I was attacked, and I have them forever to remember his homeland. He would have been loved by it, so it's okay. <laughs> and then, um, um, you know, it just was a... Uh, it was interesting. It's been a long journey. Not and a lot you, to do there. No, and you're just, you're just trying to find a place to put down his ashes, and every time you try, something comes up. Rather it be uh, throwing up the sand food or um, getting attacked by a creature in the Black Sea. Yes. Uh, it has been an unpleasant journey, to say the least. And you understand why he left. I do, yeah. and I, under I don't understand why he wanted to be... I thought he would want to be buried there. Yes. And you're just starting to understand... You're starting to feel in your gut that this may not be the place for no. him. However, you've made it this far with all of these friends behind you who, if, you know, Guy Lung could talk, he'd, he'd say some things. Yes. And you're just hoping to make it day by day. You you haven't had a shower it, like in almost 10 days. The, the None of you. The scales did not smell very nice. No, and you guys all look sunbeaten. It's kind of like Jack Sparrow when he's on that island and he has that bottle of rum and mm. everyone's just trying to get Little along. Little chapped. Yeah, very chapped. Yes, uh, but good thing Schmolgeri has the Schmolgerian rose because they have lots of Schmolgerian rose oil and I put it everywhere and that was a nice part. Yeah, you guys all smell of like Gr dirt and dirt rose oil. Dirt and rose oil, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was a, a special perfume uh, of, uh, of bio <laughs> and roses. Yes, and the and sand. Yes, and the creature that attacked you is known as the ro like a rose, rose oil creature. Yes. So obviously you were attacked because you were doused in sure. rose oil. So you're really learning as you're going along in this yes. land, uh, the strange exotic land. And I was still trying to find the place for him there. Yes. So finally, after searching every crevice and corner and sa sad sand cafe. And temple, okay. and like again, things just pop up when they pop up when they can. But otherwise, it's a very calm, quiet world. And very dark. Very dark. There's not much to do right now. There's no festivals going on. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. No, no battles. Just nope. some annoying creatures here or there in the Black Sea. So you finally stumble in to a place. This nice little, this nice little town. It, it, no more than ten shops. Uh, a lot of places, people selling on the street here. Mm. And you see this very pretty fountain. Mm. And it's a fountain of what appears to be a mermaid. Mm. And you, you have a moment and you look at it and it kind of, you, you remember Myth, uh, Myth and Tor and you remember being underwater and the, the whole adventure on the seas with him, especially the, the time that... We met on the sea. You met on the sea and there's this beautiful mermaid fountain and everyone's so exhausted. And, and I've been meditating. I've taken up meditating. Yes, and uh, I meditated on it, mm -hmm. and yes, and it, it it took it took a while too because you you really had to take out your frustration and anger through physical fighting with wine a lot mm -hmm. like the two of you guys would spar. Mm -hmm. uh, but Edna has been working through meditation with you, yes. and Guylan has actually been practicing alongside you, trying to learn the power of meditation. Yes, so it's actually you guys are all a little bit closer because of it. We're very close. It's a weird family, <laughs> and you see this beautiful fountain. And as you guys are walking up to it, in the middle of the day, the sun's be like beating on you. Uh, it's kind of nice, actually, because it's so cloudy often. But right now you're like, oh, there's some sun. And it's kind of directly on the fountain in front of me, this beautiful mermaid statue made out of gorgeous sandstone, painted with very beautiful, beautiful opulent colors. And it, it, the smell of the water is rose oil. So you're like, hmm, this is a customary rose oilian fountain once more. Mm -hmm. um, but this is by far the prettiest thing you've seen. And you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're like, if I'm going to dump his ashes, maybe this is where it needs to be. Yes. So you begin to approach it and walk towards it after this very long, exhausting journey, holding his ashes up to this fountain. And as the sun breaks through on it, there's a moment that the fountain itself is glowing a little bit stronger than you would expect. And everybody around you, Gylon, 
Edna Wine are looking at you like, what's going on? And you're just, you just look to them and you turn around with this fountain behind you. And then suddenly just light hits your faces. And it's just like the sun had opened up directly on you. So let's cut back to you guys really quickly. <laughs> you guys just had a huge battle Ow. with a young adult gold dragon <coughs> going through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What um, is happening? Yeah. I believe. You get another dragon? Yeah. No. Replace me. No, um, it was a test. It. It's fine. We <laughs> killed it. It's no. good. Probably just, was my cousin. Go just on. Just a test. Um, however, as this has been, ha as this had just occurred, you guys saw at the very end of the battle, after uh, Fauna over here has been going through her rites of passage to become a true Lathandrite, one of the children of the Spire, one of these people who, who pray very vehemently to Lathander within Waterdeep, the largest temple by far uh, than any other god here. You guys take a moment after having walked up the Spire of Gold, then fighting a gold dragon, the dragon disappearing in a vast hit of light. And suddenly this, this creature is in front of you, this, gold, this golden shimmery light creature. It's just in front of you, looking down at you and had put its hand on your cheek. And that's where we left off last week. So you feel a hand on your cheek, this ginormous angel does, of sorts. Does it have a nice look on its face, like I'm a friendly person? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like, <laughs> it's no longer time. a dragon? Yeah. No, it's transformed into this gorgeous light, source of light. It's hard to look at even, but it's kind of contained now. All the light that had enveloped it in the room, it's now glistening, glowing. It's hard to see though, it is almost faceless. The form in and of itself, you can see shapes forming, but the physical front of the creature, it's too bright. There's too much light emanating from it. You cannot see a face or a body it is just floating there with these ginormous wings made of light uh, looking all around you guys. Um, and it takes a moment and puts his hand to your face. Yes. <laughs> Hi. And then it takes a moment and its hand kind of passes through you. And as it, do as it does so, you feel your body start to become light as well. And then he starts to take Fauna and he starts to move his hand around. And Fauna's like a light, like a beam of light right now. Like she's moving, becoming like evaporated into light with her feet. Takes a moment, he does all of this and he begins to circle his hand around and the light is dancing. The light of Fauna is starting to dance and come towards all of you. So Lana in light form is literally coming towards all of you. He takes a moment, his hands circle around. Slowly it builds up this whirlwind that is much more controlled than when the whirlwind of light uh, assembled the gold dragon. Starts to circle his hand around and Fauna's hitting each one of you guys and each time she comes around and she hits Lilith, Lilith, you become like dissipated into light. Now you can still see things, but it's almost like your, like your physical form is being uprooted. Where and did I go? Being transported somewhere. <laughs> Takes a moment, passes it through Ro Rowan, does the same thing. Yeah, you feel lifted off your feet, kind Turn of... Um, right now, it's almost, the hand just is like, it, it, it's light, like there's nothing there. It's like, it's, it's almost like you're becoming wisps. Oh, and no. <laughs> takes a moment and continues to circle it. It hits you, Moira, as well, as you get lifted up off your feet. You're like, what's happening? And really same with Lala, he catches you. And even your good new friend seems to have been brought into the circle of energy that's happening and everything's starting to dance around. And suddenly you guys just feel like your eyes are full of light. And... It's a little quiet right now, after this moment passes. Are we dead? Unlike me. <laughs> you are somewhere that is beautiful. It is like crystal gems in the sky and everything is clean and beautiful. It's like breathing in the fresh air you've ever smelled. And as you breathe in air, mm you actually smell a familiar smell, two familiar smells. The smell of like sand and ocean. The smell of the sea really hits your nose really hard right now. 
Then the second thing that hits your nose is the scent of Christmas time, almost like this, this festivus, this, this moment of celebration, this like rosemary. And then like suddenly you're hit with a third smell and you almost want to throw up. It's the strongest smell of rose oil you've ever smelled in your life. God, it's so pungent. You don't know that, where it's coming from. And you look around and behind you, what? Are we back in four? Slowly, you're slowly starting to, like your head is fine. Like your, your head, you're witnessing this. But slowly your body is starting to kind of reform itself. But you're still surrounded in a very thin film of light. It's almost like something is, like you can see your bodies kind of, but you seem brighter. You seem like sparklier, very Edward Cullen. Like there's a, there's a moment you're just like, this is so odd. And then you look behind you at whatever that third smell that entered that just doesn't mix quite so well with the other two. And standing behind you guys right now in, in true form, also ignited with light and a little sparkly behind all of the dirt is Drunishka. <gasps> yes! yes! Oh, Drunishka! But I don't trust this. Her. I make an insight. Is she an illusion too? Yes, I don't trust this. Vaughn, I'm sorry. I don't trust the thunder. I push it aside and I hug. I pick up everyone. <laughs> And then I pat her on the head. <laughs> what are you trying to understand? An insight, if she's real or not. <laughs> like I only roll the oh, seven. Oh, It's hard to tell, but it sounds like Trinishka. It smells a little bit like Trinishka. I haven't showed. Please excuse me. Oh, <laughs> dragons aren't dragons. <laughs> Things aren't what they seem. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, she's is she having a is she on the drugs? No, yeah. she's okay. Her, her we, herbal. We, it is we've possible been that we're all dead. Now. We'll 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 fill you in. You're all alive. Yeah. I think. Or so. are we all dead? Yeah. Wait. Did you die? No. Okay. I'm just about. Oh. I have shit to do. I was just about <laughs> to pour Walton's ashes. You do not see with you right now, Gylon or Edna. You don't know what happened. You just know light hit you really hard all of a sudden, all of you, and then you're here. But I have the ashes. You still have the ashes, but they're almost. It's almost like it's dancing full of light. Like they're there, but the, there's oh, not a true good. form to it. It's very yeah, odd. I didn't like that place, so it's fine actually. I think it's because you're my person. Oh. And you needed to be here for my. What? My initiation. Into what? Into, <laughs> I'm now a Lathandrite. It's good, it's okay. I'm it's okay. a child of Lathander. I know that. I know you know. She's in the middle of her tests. I'm what? in the middle, or a stud. I'm so I'm proud of you. you guys you. notice, as you guys are talking, Evelyn's nowhere to be found. Like, she was dancing in the, in the light with you. She was brought into this, but she is not here right now. Dranishka's here now. And you're also starting to see on the cusp of vision, you're getting a better lay of the land. This is like a sandy beach, almost. You see a couple of what look like maybe palm trees and ocean, but it looks almost so far away that it's not real. It's hard to tell. And the sky is just, it's, it's there, it's, it, but, you, but that's not a real sky. The sky is too beautiful to be a real sky. This is a sky like you've never seen. Does anything look familiar to any of us? No. Roll a history check. I think I'm just gonna have her roll it right now. 16. 16, okay. So as you're looking around, the only, from what you can smell, from the sense you're smelling and from like this moment, it's a combination of different things you've gone through. It's like, You've been on this beach before, like you've, you've been in the sand. It, it kind of reminds you of that really bad experience you had in the sewers of Waterdeep a long time ago when that strange creature brought you into the sand. And so it's kind of remembering, like the sand is the same sort of texture, but it's much more beautiful here. And as you look up at the sky, the sky is reminiscent of a very beautiful day on the ocean once when you guys were all sailing together. And the palm trees kind of remind you of that as well. But then the scent, there's this, sec there's this additional scent of a memory, this like strange mixture of, of palm oil and rosemary and thyme. It's like, it's, it's dancing between two things. And as you take a moment and you're all standing here, you notice that that creature that you had just seen full of light, is nowhere to be seen. And you're just kind of standing here for a moment. Then as you're talking, you guys see light. 
like start to shape out of the sand, not too far away from you guys. It's a little far away, maybe 60 feet away or so on either end. Right, like you guys are directly in the center of something and something is almost evenly forming on two sides of you. To the left, you see a shape and to the right, you see a shape. Slowly, slowly they begin to form. Fauna, you look to the left and you look to the right. It's Jackson and Gylon. Oh. And they are standing here oh. looking incredibly confused. Who's Jackson? Jackson gets it beat by boyfriend. Oh, another boyfriend. <laughs> but this one is okay. for real. We like. How old are you now? You're still 14 th- now. He gave him a promise ring. It was How old is he? Is this R. Kelly business? No. No, no he was like I'm watching the surviving old. of that sh- man. 17. <laughs> Marshmallow. How old was he? He's 16, 17. Jackson? Yeah. He's 16. 16. Okay. He was 16. Okay. Um, I, I, and you're, and you're talking from, to them and like they're coming, like they're coming into form. Like you can see these people and they're, they look like you. They are, there's a thin like layer of light around them. But like the moment that they both fully form, Jackson's just like, what's happening? Uh, where am I? And then Kylan's just like, what's going on? I can't. Oh. <laughs> What? Do I have my eye? You lost an my eye? My eye still gone? Oh, yeah, Your eye is still gone. Patches, oh, yeah. We're all wearing we're sparkly all eye patches, by the they're way. They're really nice. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. all wearing sparkly eye patches. They're covered in, like, too, oh, expensive gems. Surprise! And they're wearing the most <laughs> opulent-looking dresses that you've ever seen. This sparkly. is... I feel like I would have noticed this first. <laughs> but... <laughs> wow. Did you that. lose your... Does she have an eye now? No. She you lost your eye. I lost my eye, yeah. Oh. No, don't tell me from Jackson. No! <laughs> Jackson's like, I don't think... No. We, we had a talk yeah, about it and she lied yeah, to me. Yeah. And we were... But Fauna? Uh-huh. Fauna, is that you? Jackson! Hey! And then Guyline's like talking on the side. He's like, what? what's happening? And like, you can hear him like talking. He's like, I can speak. I can talk. Wait, open your mouth. Oh my... Uh, and there's a tongue there. Oh my God! That's real. Yeah. How, what so did you great. do? What did you do? Hey. Hey. You, you still smell like rose oil. You do too. <laughs> but they're still like formed. They're about sixty feet away on either side of you guys. They're like shouting at you. Can you can you walk over here? Can you come to us? Um, the moment you say that, Gylon tries to take a step forward, but like can't. Like his feet are in. Pl- like he's he's taking a moment. He's trying to like get out of the sand. Oh, great. And the That's light's like holding she has him back. To choose between them. <gasps> oh, oh no! Can I walk over to Gylon? You take one step towards Gylon. Is that what you do? Yeah. As you do that, you catch that Jackson's starting to disappear. Oh God! No, 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 oh God! No! Okay. Yeah, oh no! Yeah, oh God! Like it's a moment. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's a sixteen-year-old kid. He's like, ah, this is oh, horrible. Yeah. Oh, what kind of fucked up test is this? I don't like. What this. the fuck is your God doing? I don't know. This is horrible. I'm taking Walton and putting him somewhere safe. He cannot disappear. <laughs> I have to choose. Is that what's happening? Lathander, is that what's happening? Make a relationship. check. <laughs> that's not okay. Six. That's like making her choose between. You don't know what the message is here. This is playing with You know that's not how he would, you know that's not the Lathander's way. No, it's not. This is not him then. Well, I mean, if I have to choose. Wait, this, hold on. Can I? I'm going to talk into the sending stone. I'm going to pull it out and talk into the sending stone. Who has the other one? Okay. Gylon. You pull up. The, you pull up the sending stone. It's ignited with this like energy, this like strange vibration that's coming off your hand. You take a moment. And you talk into it. You don't. You 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 don't feel any presence like passing through it as you take a moment. And he has the sending stone, and he like pulls it out of his pocket, and there's no sound coming out of it. He's like. What's happening? Where, where are... I can talk. Hello, everybody. I'm Gylon. Oh, stay there. It's stay so there. nice to meet you. Well, I know who she's picking. Stay, stay there. We, we don't know what's happening. What? We don't Maybe. know what's happening. Stay there. I, I can't move. I know. Maybe that's not him if he can talk. Maybe it's an apparition of him. And but so... he has the sending stone. I've been saying. But for yeah. all I know, you're still an apparition. Honey, I don't smell like this as an apparition. I think an apparition mm-hmm. wouldn't smell as apparition, strong. Apparition. Wait, apparition. 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 We were just like in 
Shmogaria. Shmogaria. Look at that like fountain. Up. I know. What Did you guys like summon us or something? We were in front of this mermaid fountain and suddenly... This the light is, hit us, man. Yeah. 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 This is and something then... beyond us. We're in the middle of some shit. Okay, do you have that you book with you, the light book? Can you yeah. sh- open it and point it at one of them I'm and see what happens? Nice dress, fuck you! I, I like you better without a tongue. What, what, what I mean is, is like you guys actually look like you're damp, like you're hurt. That's what I mean. You yes. don't look good. Oh yeah, we just fought yeah. a dragon. Yeah. What? We expect us to look like and Lala finished I, I don't know. I am in a nice dress. Fuck you. Yeah. I mean, you look great, but like you, you look you. sick. But I, I like look the at my eye patch, and also look at my dress, and also <laughs> I'm gonna cast mass healing word right now. Okay, oh, on everybody here. Yeah. Except for me, because I'm fine. Okay, Can as I? you begin to cast mass healing word, a moment passes, and you catch that the two of them, the light on each of them brightens a bit more. Huh. On the two guys. Wait, so I am casting Mass Healing? As you cast Mass Healing Word, it works. But as you cast that spell, you notice that the two of them start to, like, fill up from their legs up with more light. So right now, like, up to their knees, like, it's light. It's just pure light. Are they nice? What does that even mean? Like, What's happening? What's going on? That makes sense. Oh. What, wait. Like no, the light is good. good. The light is good. I don't know if the light is good. What brought you here? It's, it's fine. fine. And Jackson's just crying. Oh, He's like, oh, my oh, mom God. and and I were on a trip up north and Aren't we were going back to the yeah. yeah. I don't think I like He's this boy. Young. He's a I'm not sure if he's good enough. Is this reflecting in a relationship with you, girl? Like, no, Jackson. Um, excuse you, Jackson. You would be grateful to be in a relationship with her. See? Oh, we were. You, <laughs> you would be honored. Uh, he's crying. Nice. I don't care. Okay. Is this that guy on you told me about? <laughs> yeah, but I like you better. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> he starts to cry, and then Gylon's just like, <laughs> just throws his hands Guy up Guylon. Guylon. Once I heard his voice, it's over. But no, but here's the thing. Little one, here's the thing. Gailon is important to all of us. I don't, I care about This guy don't even know him. Gailon, I got you, boy. Okay, well, let me give everyone a little healing first. We're not going to let anyone die is like the the main point of this. 12 for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. But not me. I can't go more. I can't go more. No, you can't go more. But as as she casts that, you do notice that that, the, the... the legs of these boys just fill up with light. All again, all the way up to the knee, as she was just making the prayer and filling you guys with energy. So, I wonder what happens if you cast it and they fill all the way up. <coughs> yeah, that's, I think that might. Be I think maybe I have to keep healing. And Jax is just crying profusely. Like he's like, "What's oh happening with my legs? God. I was with my mom. We were going up to Neverwinter. This is just this we'll is go back. It's but fine. does the light fill food. up? It ch- takes them, and it looks like light and not body now. Yeah, from like up to their knees. I don't know if that's good because if you keep going, they are no more body. Well, here's the thing. They'll go back to where they were. Yeah, we're, we're here. And they're not because sad. Because of Lathander. Well, no, we're here because of Lathander. She's in the middle of one of her tests. Is and it? the more that yeah. she, you know, okay. uses her Lathander given abilities, the more. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word now at fourth level. Okay. And we're going to cast it again because we all, all right. need more healing. Yes. All right. As you begin to pray once more, pushing it out at an even higher level, it starts to fill up all the way through their torso to their belly button, all the way up to their chest, and almost all the way up to their shoulders. And right now, Gailan's like, no, 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 my tongue. No, no, no. It's okay. No. It's we'll okay. figure it out. Oh, gosh. If you lose your tongue, we're going to find a way to get it back. Oh, and then Jack, poor Jackson, right now he's just a, you know, a head and then full of light. And he's yes, just, he's crying. if you could see like a 16 year old, like revert into like an eight year old right now, that's what he's like. Like he's just oh. full, he's just fully oh, panicked, yeah. fully oh, panicked. Yeah. He's never oh, experienced yeah. anything like this. Yeah. You can hear him crying. Yeah. He's crying for his like mom. Doesn't know. She needs he's strong boy. He's, okay. he's, he's not in a business. Additional 16 no. points. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, back to full. Yeah. Additional 16 wow. Everyone? Yeah. yeah. She did another masculine? Unless you did at fourth level. Yeah. Uh, so I can go up to my, my maximum. I am almost up. <laughs> Jackson! <laughs> Jackson! Jackson, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What's his race? What's his race? He's a human boy. Jackson, look at me. Oh, I'm dying. Jackson, look at the love in my eye. See it? <laughs> in her one eye. I love the sparkles, girls. Thank you. He's like, he's like, barely. I mean, barely. It's kind of in there. Just so that I 
love you. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! That was a big word. I know. It's the first time I've said it. We've only dated we for like six days. I know, but guess what? I love you. I love you. Just like I love all my friends. I love my mom and I want her right now. Oh you like this mom? Don't worry, you're going to see her soon. Just be happy to see me for a second, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Look at what you're dating. She's amazing, look child. At, okay, I'm going to Baby pray to Lathander. You do look really good. Thank you. I sparkle. Yeah. And also, I pray to Lathander to um, help ease uh, ease his uh, anxiety. I say, Lathander, do you look after Jackson? Make sure he feels the love and less anxiety. All right, make a religion <laughs> check. <laughs> uh, I'm watching you. Uh, uh, 12. 12? Okay, yep. Yeah. You you pray to Lathander for this, and you can tell that your prayer is being heard. You feel very close to your God right now, especially since you're surrounded by light, and he's the dawn brightener. Like, you are, you yourself, you can tell that this should be hurting you, the burning, the the, 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 the coloration of this light, but it's actually calming. His, pre his presence is clearly here, and you take a moment, you pray, and you can see that slowly more light goes up their neck. Just enough. But right now, they're pretty much just faceless heads. Uh, and Gailan is like, no, no, please don't. Gailan, no, I need to be able to talk. Trust in the light. You, can... in the no, light. you have the stone. It will be fine. Trust in the light. We got your back. Make a and persuasion. So does Make a persuasion check. Persuasion. 20 dirty. 20? Ooh. All right, <laughs> Gailan, Gailan's listening. And like, he's a bit more calmer than Jackson right now. Takes a moment, he's like, Trust in the light. And he just smiles and he nods and he closes <laughs> his eyes and just dissipates in light. Does Jackson dissipate too? Jackson's still there crying with like a little face. Jackson, don't cry. I'm scared. I don't cry. Why did he do? He just disappeared. He died. He no, died. He didn't. Oh, he's no, fine. No, no. Why am I um, here? It's all right, Jackson. It's because you're important to follow. Yeah. They We're just gorgeous. borrowing you. Uh, uh, is there a, a, like one of your chants that you can say and have him join in? Yeah, why don't we try this? Good idea, Blair. Let's try the chant, okay? I'll oh, say the chant. Oh, keep, me alive. keep me alive, keep me alive, don't kill me. Let's uh, enter. <laughs> follow the light. <laughs> just say, follow the light. The light will bring you hope. Follow the light. The light will bring you hope. Follow the light. The light will bring you hope. And then like as you guys cute you guys do that, slowly he's like he's like getting more composed. He's listening. It's like a chant. It's like a meditation. And slowly his face kind of circles and dissipates in that light, that white light that you had seen them form. I don't know what is happening. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. As this occurs, you guys can feel beneath your feet like movement in the sand. Oh my god. It's a familiar sensation very quickly. And slowly everything kind of dances around you. Almost for a second, like the sand becomes light, but it's it's quick. It's almost like a brush, like a wind swept kind of kiss. And suddenly you're somewhere completely different. This, you cannot see above you. You do not see a sky. It's dark, but it's beautiful and green. Like fresh trees, huge trees. Leaves the size of your bodies. I mean, it's gorgeous. You're, you're somewhere very rich. It smells like the Rainforest Cafe. Mm -hmm. it, I like the Rainforest Cafe. 100% does. <laughs> the ground here is covered in this kind of fine sort of earth, brown earth, like as if trees long, a long time ago had died and covered the ground and there has been complete clearing. So you can see like all around right now, there's beautiful, huge trees everywhere, but there are paths, there, there's clearings, there's places to walk, it's taken care of, it's nurtured, It's it looks like someone's hand has touched this forest as far as you can see. I mean, the amount of manpower it would take to make a forest look this beautiful would take eons. 
Roll a quick perception check. Eight. Eight. There is overwhelming beauty in this location. It is almost an idealistic version of what a rainforest would look like to you. Like you're looking at this and it's just, the air is thick, but it doesn't hurt your throat or your chest. Mm -hmm. It's like high concentrations of oxygen and air. You, you feel like healthier here. You feel like better here, but you don't hear any stirrings. There's no sign of animals or life. I don't know what's going on. This is pretty though. Can you speak with plants? I can speak with plants. Can we see the they can Would you talk like here? to speak with the plants? Or if they're fake. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Um, <clears throat> I walk up to a big uh, redwood tree. Excuse me. Is anybody home? You hear like a deep chuckle. Hello. Um, my name is Lilith. Lucena. I'm an adventurer and I'm here with my friends and we were wondering um, where the hell we are. <laughs> you hear another laugh and then you can see above you the arm of the tree move and suddenly light bursts through the top of the canopy of trees. Hmm. Place that you're realizing you were able to see in any way, though no light was coming through. As the light hits down, there's like a ray, and it's not near you. It's like somewhere on the other side of the canopy of trees. You'd have to walk in that dis in that direction. Mm -hmm. Looks like you can, at least for right now. She walked up to a mm -hmm. tree and there was no trouble. Let's go towards the light, I guess. Follow, Follow the light. The light. Oh my goodness, what on the why we use light on check. Yes, please. Um, are we, this is a forest or a jungle? Looks like it, roll a perception check. Okay, I get advantage because forests and jungles are my favorite terrain. Mm -hmm. um, okay, 21. <laughs> You've been in this jungle before. Is it, oh, fuck. This is, <clears throat> a very hyper idealized version of a jungle uh, in on that at that place like this is nothing like what you experienced but the landscape of it yes <laughs> but the landscape of it is of all of the plant life around there minus the redwood that she happened to speak to <laughs> but like everything there is just it's it's an idea, like this is nothing like what you experienced but this yeah. is a familiar forest and you begin to walk forward knowing exactly where that light had hit. It's gonna be a little bit of a journey, but it's up to you if you wanna divulge that information because it I'll dawned on you right now. Whisper. We've been here before. You have? Yeah. What jungle is this? I don't. Do I remember which jungle it is? You just know that you're in, this is Chult. It's Chult. Um, chult, Chult. Well, uh, this is I much mean, nicer than real Chult. Yeah, it's not. No bugs. It's, it's Chult, but it's not Chult. This is where I came. This is where my brother and I came. Where we left home. Where I think I was on the ale. Uh, is Cholt where we saw the unicorn purse? No, that no. was. Uh, you haven't been to Cholt. Ah. I, met, I met you when I left Cholt. Right. A baby dinosaur. I thought I yes. was on the ale. Yeah, Bubasaur. Mm. Bubasaur. Where's the flying squirrel guy that I love? Oh, he's he's hidden in a pocket. Okay, it's good. magical. He's still happy. Okay. <laughs> He's not coming out until we're on familiar ground that's Fine. not enchanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Head towards the light? Yeah, we'll head towards the light. Okay. You begin to walk in that direction slowly. You follow it. You see where the light trickles through not too far away, and you begin to make your way in that direction. As you do so, yes? Can you make a nature check to see if I see any, like, blessed herbs or something that sure. I could add to my druid here? Sure. Yeah, roll a nature check. 19. 19. 
as you're walking on the ground here, there is there is almost like deliberate. It's almost like deliberate earth. Like everything here is so old and beautiful. Um, you do catch that there's herbs taken care of, but they're ginormous. They're huge. Like they're expansively large. And you go up to pick one of these. And even as you do so, it's almost like rubbery as you try to grab it. I don't think they're real plants. Probably, I mean, probably not. We have it, you know. I just thought perhaps they could. be real. I, I'm going to put a theory out there. I think that we might be in someone's idea of what chalk is. Mm. Maybe someone who has been in... Someone who's never been in real well, life, clearly. I think that maybe someone who has been in Chult, but saw it through their own eyes. You know, a way, the, the way a, a child sees the world? Everything is big and, and bright and might be in the way that you saw Chult. Yeah. Who knows? That's the last time I was with my brother, too. With Chult. Okay, let's go to the light. I'm going to make sure I'm right behind her. All right. You guys continue to walk down the path, and you finally... It, it's hard to tell here how time is moving, but you know you're getting closer. It could have been five minutes, or it could have been an hour. It's really hard to tell here, but you're walking, and it's pretty, and it's nice. You finally get closer to the light. As you guys do so, just a group perception check, please. Ooh. That's good. 22. Oh, boy. Nine. 18. 24. Perception. Okay. 16. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Eight. Eight. Okay. So those who rolled uh, a 16 and above, you're starting to see, you can actually see through the break in the trees and the path that you're taking right now, the light is not too far away from you. It's just another second's walk. You and you catch suddenly that the light and the path that you're walking on, you're looking behind you. And all of your steps is leaving like a trail of like light. And you hadn't even caught that. Mm -hmm. And you look behind, you're like, oh. Then you look down and you can see that there's actual disturbance in the earth in the direction that you're moving in as well. Like there's a slight glisten of something that's directing you in this direction that has made the path a little easier to see. It's, it's hard to understand the way that light is moving here, mm -hmm. but it's certainly guiding you. As you guys approach this pillar, you walk up to it and the light almost turns off in a way. It doesn't turn off in a way where it goes away, but it almost expands and dissipates. Mm -hmm. And what you see beneath this pillar of light is a very, very familiar labyrinth. The lighthouse. I think you must walk this. Oh man. What are you seeing? What? The labyrinth from the lighthouse, oh, remember? Labyrinth. Oh. Maze, just the one of those. <sighs> okay. Lathander, <laughs> I know you're looking out for me. I can walk the labyrinth. Okay. <clears throat> Do we wait? You want us to wait? Do we go with you? Yeah. Follow. Follow. Following the leader. Okay. You guys begin to walk through a familiar labyrinth, one that you guys had gone on not too long ago. This is not the lighthouse, but it is almost the exact shape of it, everything about it, even though the sconces are not there, like everything else is it. This is it. And you begin to walk through and light starts to get brighter. And as you begin to walk through the first passage through this twist and turn, this brain puzzle that it looks like on the floor, you guys suddenly feel like you're not walking through it anymore. And there's a moment where all of you guys are together sitting around a table. Just sitting around a table right now. In a very small home. The rest of them could eat. Is it my home? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Well, this is my home. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. We're a little big for it. <laughs> This is where I grew up. We're peeking into the we're, we're just outside. like at the yeah. table, like, hello. Hi. You're very hunched over. Your tiny little half and half. I have like home. Well, my family is actually quite wealthy, but it's still small because it's for us size. Uh, but it's quite 
It's quite beautiful. Uh, my mother is very good at decorating, so she's hung tapestries and uh, and uh, there's a lot of woodwork because my dad likes to woodwork on with mm-hmm. his spare time. So, as you're kind of all standing there in this, you guys catch that you guys are light, like you guys are. Like, the film of light is still around you. It has not left yet. And a moment passes. And you hear, you start to hear, your, your, your ears are adjusting. And you're beginning to hear voices. Mm-hmm. And out, from out nearby one of the doors, the door that you know, very familiar with, out comes your mother and your father. Uh, they look younger. They look like they must be, you know, in their equivalent of halfway 30s. And from out behind them, they're laughing and they're playing and they're joking and they fall over. Your father just falls over on the table. And this is a very, very happy memory for you. This is this memory of uh, there's an infamous jokes day, a jokester day, and they pull pranks on each other all day. So the whole house is trapped and triggered. One of our favorite days. Yes. Um, Like a fool's night, you know? And so you guys are just having a blast. Like everything's, and you catch as the two of them tumble out and tackle one uh, one another onto the table. They do not, they do not see you. And one of them actually passes through you. Well, like you were sitting at the table and like the mom kind of like goes through you and you're like, that's really inappropriate. And you have to kind of move to the side to see what's happening. I want to feel it. (laughs) (laughs) And you catch from out behind where your parents had run you. And you see your brother running after you and tackling your parents as well. You guys are no more than five or six. A oh, little, little one. They look like they They're the littlest little ones. I know. I was always so little. You and your mother look exactly the same. I know. Everyone together. tells me that. That I look like my brother and I look like my mother and my dad. He looks like us too. <laughs> And you guys begin to chase, you remember this fun thing where you're, all day you set up traps, you were planning with your father and your mother how to get one another, you know, you, you had to sometimes pull your dad aside and sometimes pull your mom aside, you can't make sure everybody knows all the traps. So there's like a whole week of planning that went into this, and it's a very fun memory, one of the most fun memories that you have in your town of Coneyberry, this very small, quaint village um, on the outskirts of a very small forest as well. It's just a pleasant little town, no more than 80 people there. And you have a small homestead there. And you're just running around, chasing your brother, laughing, giggling, falling down, getting back up. And your mother turns to you. And you you don't remember this, but you're like, oh, yeah, this did happen. And you're having this fond memory. And she turns to you and she goes, oh, honey, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to go? And you hear your voice. And you're like, no, mom, I don't, I don't want to go. I don't want to. I want to play all day. And she's like, are you sure? And you're just like, yeah, I, I just want to play. And she kind of looks to her husband, uh, your father, and she kind of gives him this stern look. And he's like, she doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to go. And she turns towards you and she goes, then don't worry about it, sweetheart. We won't go to the temple. And she nods to him and he nods to her. And your family was not very religious growing up. No. There was a door of opportunity moment that you forgot that your mom was trying to get you to go. It's far away, though. It's a long journey. You wanted to play. Yeah. You wanted to have fun. I didn't understand. I was too young. And it was jokester day. I can see why you opted to stay home. Yeah, it was jokester day. Surely the, surely the founder appreciates a bit of fun. I'm sure. And, you know. Clearly. As you grow older, you experience things and you realize, you know, certain things become more important, but also family's always the most important. As you say that, everything starts to get darker. This light all around you starts to fade and you cannot see your family right now. You cannot see the home you are in. It's starting to get very dark and you're looking at your friends and you can kind of see each other. And then suddenly it is pitch black and it's just you guys standing in darkness at one another. Are you all still there? Uh, yeah, you can, I, I was you just going to ask. If you have, if you have dark, dark vision, vision, you can see each other's faces. You can see that one, one another's faces. There is faint 
light though, almost like a spotlight on you guys, almost as if you can, almost as if there's, you're painted into this world where everything's darkness and it's just you all standing. So though your, your dark vision's active, you can still see normally one another, but you're just standing in blackness, like black, black ink. I'm gonna pray to Lysander and say, I didn't know what the light, what I could gain from the light, but now I do. I didn't know how important having faith in you was. As you say that, you see etched in light above you, almost as if it's dancing with a sparkler, like trans, like this, 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 this paint above all of you guys that you catch. And you see this word spelt out above you that says family. Family. Yes, family. Family's important. And it just fades away the moment you say it. The moment you say that. Lysander, I feel like you want me to say that family's not important, but it is important. So are you. So is, so is following the light. That's important too. And as you begin to say that, that sparkler of light, that pinpoint begins to jump and dance around like in a way where it's creating a pattern around you guys and you mm -hmm. cannot figure it out. But it's almost moving around you erratically and, and in a way where it's starting to press all of you guys a little bit closer. This is, this is my family here too. They're my family. And so are you, Lathander. What do you guys do in this situation? We're moving closer together, like okay. being pushed. I produce a flame. Okay. okay, you do so. You're able to cast flame. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it doesn't make anything any more bright, but you have a amply have a flame in your hand. Little one, is your mom and dad alive? I think so. Do you know where they are? I haven't seen them since we left for Chol. I want to pray quickly to Helm and see if he can give me any guidance yeah, in this sure. situation. Okay. No religion check, please. Religion check. Yeah. Could we go check on them? 16. Okay. I think your family might be. You have a feeling. There's no rite of passage like this with Helm. You just, you just become a follower of Helm. This is very confusing for you personally. Um, but from the symbols that you're seeing and the way that everything's moving and dancing, Everything turned black the moment she says family, the moment she said family is the most important thing. The moment she said that everything went away. And there's something that's trying to be said and you don't know what it is, but you know that this is a God trying to communicate something. Also, I want you to roll a history check. Where's my history? Eight. You're not certain what this communication method might be or why. I'm going to pray in Lysander for guidance. Okay. Lysander, I know, I know that it went dark when I said that family was the most important thing. And I know you want me to say that nothing's more important than you, but I but I carry everyone and, and you. you. He cuts you off and you all hear this. You hear the voice of something. You don't know what it is. And you catch what that dancing pattern around you was. And you hear these words. Make a choice. And right here, you see in full flesh and bro blood, your brother ignited in light standing here. Um, you see your brother and then all of that light that had been dancing and moving around smacks against the other side of the black canvas and it's the symbol of Lathander. Oh, little one, you cannot have both. You just see this. Like Farron's standing there, like, like he's not, he almost looks like he's not talking. He, there's life in his eyes, but he's just kind of standing there. And like, a zombie. So like a zombie, a little bit ignited with light. 
almost preserved. And then on the other side is just the symbol of Lathander. I don't know what to do. That's not my brother. That's not him. That's not the light in his eyes. He had a light in his eyes like that. That's not my brother. What if it could be him if you pick him? I think what Lathander is trying to ask of you is a huge sacrifice. I think he is asking you to choose. And it's the biggest thing that you could possibly give him. But I don't know. Whatever you choose, we're behind you. I choose you guys. Could I just choose you? I don't know, it's too hard. <laughs> this is your test. I know, I know what I'm supposed to choose. What do you feel in your heart? She's going to go kneel in front of Fauna and take her hands and say, if Lathander is asking something of you that you are not willing to give, we are behind you. And whatever happens, we are with you. If you choose Lathander, we are here for you. If you must leave Lathander, we are here for you. Just know it will be okay. But this is your choice. I look at my brother. And I say, but that's, if I choose him, that's not him. I think it's symbolic. It's not him. It doesn't pick him. It's not him, but it, I think it symbolizes. As you say, it's not him, you hear his voice, and he says your name. Fauna. not be him but it is it is symbolic of your choice I, like this. I have a feeling that Lathander expects his acolytes and, and his, his people to sacrifice everything they have for him to give everything they have for him and I think that is what this choice is what happens if I don't choose him Did anyone have any uh, friends that are in the Lathander camp? I mean, or... we do. Because here's the thing. <coughs> I don't know that I believe that I should sacrifice everything for Lathander. But I don't know if that's what it's, say it's saying, is that I need to sacrifice everything. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe the choice doesn't matter. Maybe he's going to love you anyway. Whatever you choose. That's the right answer. Then he shouldn't make you choose. I know. This is confusing. It's confusing. Your God isn't quite what you thought that happens sometimes. And it's okay to change your mind. It's true. No one would ever judge you for changing your mind if you find your God is not Asking th if, if he's asking things of you that you never expected, that in your gut, being true to yourself, you don't agree with. Best case scenario here, he's asking you to make a choice, and it is just truly symbolic of your, your devotion to him, and he's not asking you to completely abandon your family. But again, we don't know. If it is a test, the correct answer would be you to it's pick him. I and know. maybe by picking him, then you get all the things you want in life, like your family. But that would be a trick question. <laughs> no, I think <sighs> this is me saying I'm devoting my entire world to him. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to do that? Does this mean you have to be none? Yeah, what is implied here? Like, Can you avoid to give up? You might not want like, this life. Oh, they're not can't celibate. hang out anymore? Oh, trust me, they're not celibate. Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might be good for her. I don't know. She's only 14. <laughs> might be good for now. I think when she's an adult, she might, might regret it. Well, think about this. All the people that you know at the Lathander Church, they all have families, right? Yeah. 
They all have families. And they've all been through this initiation. They have loved ones. They got married. They had kids. You're right. But also... Yes. Maybe a god is asking you to make this choice is not the right choice. I'm trying to read the, the <laughs> room. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's more of a jokester than we thought. Maybe the he. Joking. Maybe it's not a a serious thing. It's just ultimately this is. I wish that we could just shoulder yeah, this can. burden for okay. you, but it's it's your choice. It's all on you. Following Lysander has got me here and given me you guys and all the ability to heal you and help you. And that's not my brother. And I walk to the Lysander symbol. Okay. Do you want to play a song for a second while I describe what happens? Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh. <laughs> Thought you were going to talk over that. <laughs> oh, I'll wait for you. I'm so excited for this. Yes, well, this was sprung on me last minute, so... <laughs> I said, play some beautiful music while I describe things. <laughs> Hopefully it happens. Oh, man. I described it well oh, enough. Yes. <laughs> for you, for it. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like it. Okay. So you begin to turn around, not looking back, trying to make a choice here. Trying to understand what your God is trying to ask of you. A decision, a question he raised a while ago. A very familiar situation of this labyrinth. And now you're faced with it at the ceremony head on. So you turn. And you hear your brother call your name one more time behind your head as you walk in the direction of the symbol. You press it out as best you can, and you take a step forward. And each step forward, you guys see Fauna slowly turn more and more into light. Now, you've seen something similar to this before, but this is stronger. You can actually feel a god here, suddenly, like, you can feel it. You can feel the presence of a god. Like, this is undeniable as you see Fauna walking towards the symbol. And the symbol begins to glow. Now, it was outlined, but it's turning into something horrifying. A sun. It is burning like the sun, and it is hot like the sun. And you have never been this close to a sun, but if you were going to be close to a sun, it's not even fire. This is stronger. This is radiance. This is pure light force coming at you guys. And you have to witness it because there's nothing else you can do. You take a step back and it's not like there's space. It's just there and it's getting closer and Fauna's getting closer and Fauna's becoming the sun. You see her walk. The path before her lit up with this lick of flame, ungodly and godly. And she makes her way right directly in front of it. And it's burning. And you can see it. You can see it with both eyes. Your eyes are burning right now. And you feel it in your eyes. You feel two eyes burning next to this. Oh, yeah. Burning in front of the sun. You look down and you're just... Is she on fire? Consumed, completely light, completely consumed. And do you walk into the sun? Yeah. As she steps into the sun, (laughs) 
a moment passes and there's like a sh there's like a wave like this it's, it's like the sun exploding it's it that's what it looks like yeah it's almost it's 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 it's, it's huge it's like a supernova essentially that comes out and all of you guys get hit with this burning light and you just have to like brace brace yourself against it as it kind of explodes from the inside out as Fauna had just entered it. Your eyes adjust for a moment. And you see before you a completely charred land. Tiered with mountains in the distance, purple, black sky as if something had incinerated everything. You look before you and you see Fauna coming down from this energy. I pull Requiter from my back and sling it around. I set it on fire. I stab it into the ground. You all take 25 thunder damage. One. <gasps> no! What is she doing? 13, 14 necrotic damage. All what? of you. What? Sorry. What? 25 thunder damage, 14 necrotic damage, and you are all, you have to make... 25 is, this thunder. Is this and is what? Remember the thing we had to kill? 14, 16, 14 necrotic. Oh we have to kill. Oh, you all turning. have to make a constitution saving throw. Wait, wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Make a constitution saving this was throw. A drink, and you went to zero. Do I still make it? A throw? She convinced oh, yeah. you. You are now making death saves. Wait, what? How are we making death saves? So if she's down to zero, she's making death saves. As we take a moment and Moira, this is what you see. She pulls out Requiter. You don't even see it. She's standing behind you. And Requiter smacks on the ground. And this wave of energy just hits you from the back, all of you, as you're thrown forward and you barely turn around. Even as you're on your de on desk door, your eyes barely what adjust. Is what is what Do you want to describe what they see? Wait, so wait, minus 25 the and then minus minus We'll what? calculate this in okay. just a second. 25 thunder but... damage, 14 necrotic. When you guys turn around, I think you might all be knocked prone. But you see, it's it still looks like Moira, but it is completely covered in armor. She's completely metallic. Her eyes are black light, and she is covered from head to toe in closed eyes. Okay, okay. And I'll take a break there. I'll take a break there. I'll take a break there. I don't, I don't like, like this, this excitement. <laughs> I don't like this act. I don't like oh. I'm having an emotional breakdown. <laughs> You're gonna have to break kill time her. is what's going on. We will calculate all of our oh fun. Gosh. What is that? all of our fun? <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Oh my god, I guess I'll open chat. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, so what is, when is this thunder and the crow? Yes, we will calculate Oh wait, this. I can talk yes. like me. So you and have, you have certain... Let me ask, uh, do you mind if I just look at the spell for a moment? I know you're all like... You're fire. Like, you're you're, you're all like waves of fire. fire. Oh, oh my god, I'm so damage. mad. I'm so mad. I'm I so not mad. Make it I'm also psychotic damage, what? but that's when I... Necrotic. Wait. I did no, not. I was, that's I when gonna, I'm raging. I was so close to making the other choice. I was like this close to being like... I was the one telling you the other. I could have totally made either twist. I was saying it was a trick. That would have been that such a good really, choice. That was oh. really interesting. Fuck, I should have fought her. <laughs> I was this close uh, to choosing it, and then you convinced me. No, yeah. no, I said it was I'm your purpose. choice. I said that we were behind you either way, is which is and true. She was behind us. Oh, we were no, doing some sketchy said, stuff. <laughs> you also pushed, because she, she also oh. said, Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. what I said, literally, I was neutral oh, ground, yes. you guys. Um, if they, if they do make a con save, I have a danger. Yes, they're not. So crime. everybody should be making a con save, and you will take half damage. What's a wait? Oh, so don't necessarily take. You don't that necessarily full. take all of it, okay. but you will. You will I need to make a con save. Is the con save for? No, I thought that was just to be not prone. Do it now. Break, we can clarify it now. If if there were a true veil, we would probably just do it over break and then just. Kelly, was it just to be knocked prone, or is it for the damage? Uh, natural 20? Yeah. <laughs> they are not knock prone if they save this. Oh, really? Yeah, natural 20. But, is, but is the saving throw for the damage plus or is three. it for 22. the... A creature that succeeds on its saving throw takes hey, half as much damage and isn't knock prone. So Same. You, you don't get knock prone. 
You don't get so necrotic. Don't, and you half take half and half. What do you have to make? Half necrotic, so it's half and 25 and 14. You take half and half. Because you made a nat 20 and that makes it half. Gabriel Knight. Half and 25 is... Gabriel Knight. Gabriel Knight has a question. Oh, what do you have to roll okay. to get the yes. half? And then have four. My seven. number. What is but, that? Oh, but I, I have I'm telling you the resistance to psychic. Uh, What's necrotic damage? Necrotic is like mental. Yeah, so I have, I have resistance to psychic, but I think it's only when I'm raging. It's, it's oh my like, god, like a key. Like this this, this, this level magic. of betrayal is beyond I anything I could ever Akeisha, conceive in my you life. Missed a lot. I'm so sorry. But you know what? She doesn't have it because she literally hates everyone. Sometimes. I take this as I take this as a spell. No, you say you hate everyone, and apparently that's true. Everyone has friends. I have primal. Yeah, uh, <laughs> things aren't as they should be. Yeah, but that would have been that would have been the first. If any of you get hurt, I'm taking. I take all. It's all my fault. I know. Okay. So I take full responsibility. Wait, wait, additionally, you weren't surprised at the beginning. I should have recognized the darkness in her eyes. You aren't killed you when I had the chance. You can act normally on your okay. first turn, uh, but only to enter your rage going. before doing anything else on that turn. Go ahead and rage. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's listening. Does anyone want to answer some questions? Yeah, yeah. we're here. Yeah. We'll clarify this later. Okay. That's good to know. I had to read the spell. I had to double check. Um. Well. Okay. Well. Um. Uh, Gabriel Knight's asking, did we decide where in the realms Fauna's rich parents live? Coneyberry. 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 So, like, not too far off the tradeway. It's in between Neverwinter and the Desarn Valley. It I is a very cute, bears. quaint town I need some bring with some gummy two, bears. Warring, uh, two warring Don't breweries. Don't bring me necrotic damage. I'm close. There's two, like, warring taverns and inns. It's really cute. Um, I love Coneyberry. I don't even know what's wet. Sunes. Oh, she's gone. Uh, she'll, we'll ask her how much fun she's oh, having. Oh, man, season finales. She's in the finale. Uh, I'm so bad. <laughs> I was like, what? I have to make a choice? I don't think Lala's really interested in dating. Oh, I should have right chosen now. the other way. Whether she's oh, enlarged or not. Right? Who knows like, what I didn't know this. Yeah. Well, I have, you know. Did you know to, uh, I have advantage? Yeah. I have advantage on deck oh, saving so throws beautiful. against effects that you can see, such as trap spells. Oops, yes. To gain this benefit, you can you can't be blindfolded. We're gonna share this one. Exactly. I know. Yeah, this is good to know. Generally yeah. speaking, um, so there's more than one pattern in front of you. Is it stuff you can see? I gave you like the rose. Yeah, yeah. Something that was going on in the small area. Which is good because you guys don't really have a rogue who can. I silently thought I raged and then attacked. I don't think we have any real answers. Our minds just got blown. I know I restless attack too. Yeah. You, if you're, if you chose so, this, totally. we can, we can I didn't pick, that. oh, is, is that different than I took primal? Oh, God. I I know. This is all orange and yellow. What, what? is that? That's an inherent thing. That's an inherent thing. Yeah. So that's then I have, like peach. Peach. but then it's just something about someone else. Or is this apple? This is so yeah. Anyway, it does say, hold on. <laughs> Dad says Daphne loves my voice. That's a great oh. Daphne's oh. neighbor. Oh. 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 Daphne. Oh. Daphne. Actually, that might be apple. It's hard to tell. Oh, Good. I think everyone's going to start here, so this is just inherent of the system barbarian. So yeah, you should have to. I am. Should have. Yep. Well, if I reference attack, then someone else has advantage. Yeah, they have advantage against you. So be careful. Using reference attack rolls against you have advantage. I actually don't. Lord Harkin's process being ladies. What's your name? So we're all going to do that. I saw that. This is awesome. We're only giving away the book at break, and then the water bottle will be giving away on our social media. Follow us there. Follow us on social media. At Girls Get Glory. Hi, Dad. So only one, only one giveaway at, uh, today is the book, and then we'll be doing a water bottle in the next week on our social media. So check I'm it out. It. Yeah. I was too. I was wondering why you're bringing out all D6 yeah, like, has actually known about this. I saw her I mean, bringing out a bunch of D6s. I was like, what is she going to do with all those? Is she gonna attack Lathander? Um, Wizard oh, no. you, you says, Hey Kelly, I just registered for DD in a castle. And oh! I'm looking forward to meeting you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to meet you too. You can request me as your DM. So do that, please, because I would lo obviously love to play with anybody in a beautiful castle and create fantastic memories. She makes incredible stories that will make you hurt and cry in the best possible way. <laughs> highs and lows and highs and lows. I'm predi unpredictable. <laughs> um, I can fly. <laughs> Um, at 35, uh, feet, what is it? What's the unit of measurement? Uh, feet. Feet? Yeah. 35 feet per round, or yeah, if I dash, if I use a double, right, right, I right. use 70. It's really hard. So that is how far away I can fly from the 
That music was really good. <laughs> oh, no. That music was really pretty. Too. Yeah, yeah it, was it was awesome. I just like wanted it to almost. I was like, so oh, I have to tell. It was so pretty. I know it was so pretty. I was like, I need a story. It was so perfect. Hey, Cole J. Yes, she is. It was, really oh, it was so good. perfect. What? This is that moment. What did we have? Nothing. He said, Rachel, you're enjoying this moment way too much. So yeah, we all had a vision. It's a good moment. I'm real sad. Our Comic Con game. We all had a vision, or I had a vision of us all, me in the lead, killing Moira. So, or attacking Moira. Not killing her, but trying. Trying to kill Moira. So, um, yeah, and it was like, it was that, and then also the Labyrinth was from last season, and Cholt was from the season before that. So it's kind of all. Well, Allie, turn on those bottles. I think that uh, quite a few. Oh, I wait, I guess some, we're giving away the water it's bottle. It's almost like walking through right your life path, man. Oh, I think we're doing water bottle and, and book. Well, no, we're not doing water bottle today. Oh, we're doing the water bottle on our social media. We're oh, only pulling one Lauren, winner today. It was, it was oh, so but crazy. Funny. We're only doing one. With uh, Anna last week, I, I gave her a lot of information about what the what the rite of passage is for, for Lathander at the Spires. And she was like, yeah, 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 like all of this stuff. And she was playing her character so like graciously that she didn't tell you about any of the bad stuff that happens. So it's interesting because it's like, oh, you're learning why you have to be 18 to do it. Yeah, Evelyn had to... You go through well, a ringer, man. You're yeah. and you're doing it at 14. Yeah. I know. That's what they just kept telling her. Like, you're very young for this. I know. Well, that's Show awesome. That's very mature I for you. Like, I feel like also 14-year-olds are more inclined to, like, hear Rush pressure. Down. Totally, yeah. So that was part of the reason why I actually oh. made the decision. Because I was like, as oh. a 14-year-old, like, I know what my decision's supposed to be. Totally, and I yeah. felt like Kwana would probably be like, I'm doing this. Not bad, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And like, I mean, that's, that's a real, that's a true that will. Decision, I mean, that's a true you know? will of, of, that's a true preteen test true. there, isn't because it? Because as a 30 year old woman, I'm not so yeah. sure I would have made that decision. But, yeah. you know, like, as a 14 year old, as a 14 year old, I feel Who like. Who doesn't know better? It's like, I right? have to follow, I know what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, I'm more peer Ooh. pressured in that Ooh. direction. And ultimately, I was like, okay, I gotta Come go with it. Wow. Yeah. But that's really cool to know that that's kind of the the journey that she's on. That's fascinating. Yeah, I think she's. Um, I think she's still a little like you know she's still yeah. easily you know pressured. yeah pressured she's by her she's um, impressionable emulating people that she yeah not sure why she looks up there. to looking for a community yeah. you know? <laughs> acceptance oh, why god. wasn't I there oh god well you're here now girl. Her down. Right. you're here now <laughs> is people is people armor made of eyes or etched with eyes or are they floating eyes. So I'll I'll let you take command of this, but I do see them. She, I'm gonna let you paint it because it's it's a cool idea. They're so. covered in, it, it it's as if the metal is real flesh. Yeah. They are real eyes, and they're articulating. You can see even though they're closed, you can see the retinas moving underneath them like they're in REM sleep. Ew, creepy. They're real eyes. Yeah, That's super I like creepy. It. That's they're really all creepy. Closed. I don't like it. There's one like dead You're center in the middle of her forehead. My son. She so has one like dead center right you? there. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll wait to Daphne. Hi, Daphne. Maybe and this is who she's been all along. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Season finale. <laughs> who, does, who cahoots with who? Um, Rain, we have uh, both Ranger. Ranger. She's tired of Moira. She was playing the character. Ranger Which one technician has a question for Allie. What's up? Um, can you tell what your Ooh, musical influences know. are when playing as a bard? My musical influences, honestly, I just kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's just, it's just, it's just in, in my uh, blood. Kim, you should wait to death. What did you listen to growing up? Hi, Daphne. I listened to growing up? I listened to the Dixie Chicks a lot. Um, this is what they want to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Like, uh, I listened a lot to... This is oh. the book. We're oh no! Away. A photo fell out. It's a family photo. Speaking oh, did of family. you want to? Did you want to give away the photo with it? To <laughs> I'm so glad that fell out. They'd be like, they'd get this and be like, who the heck are these dudes? Um, Allie's, Allie's it's my brother, my brother-in-law. <laughs> Allie's giving this away today. Well, maybe so. we should. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe we should draw a new winner since they don't seem to be in chat. Or draw a new Move. winner in a few minutes, just in case they show back up. Oh my god. Mordekainen's. Mordekainen's. Uh, we are on break. I mean, we should wait till the end of break to choose or, or give them no, a chance to, to be back. back. If yeah. anyone's going back if, to the snack if, table, um, I would love some more If Maldubius doesn't come back before um, the end of break, you can draw a new winner. Maybe a bag of chips. Um, if you have any more well, questions, like send them my way. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay, a new winner will be drawn in two minutes <gasps> if Maldubius does not respond. Yes. Ooh. Mm. 
I'm gonna go lay down for three so hours. Great for you. No, four. you need to lay on down for three hours. Yes. Um, it says, which of you guys are going to keep playing D and D during hiatus? Oh, oh, all of us. All of us. Yeah. I want to start a new character. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do a little. We might show. all die just now. Yeah. So. No. Let's do some home games. We haven't done yeah. that in a while. Oh, That'd please, really fun for actually. You guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really fun. Yeah, should, like let Rachel do some DMing for us. Oh, DMing for you. Also, we have another talented. project in the works which we can't really talk about oh, yes. yet. Oh, yes. But just again, fun. follow us on social media. Yes. Um, because some there might be something else. Fun for you guys to watch starting in um, February. We might be so, not D and D related, Fast. but Girls Gets Glory. But us yeah. related. Yeah. So um, yes, follow at Girls Gets Glory, and you will be alerted when we're allowed to talk about it. But it's a fun little project. So uh, <laughs> keep your eyes out. <laughs> I'm giving the ASMR people a real big treat. Oh, this is like playing Mass Effect or or Dragon Age and having to make that mean dialogue option. I can't do it. <laughs> My heart is like. You mother. I'm about to rage and breathe some whole lot of fire. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Do dragonborns lay eggs? That is a the good what? Do dragonborns lay so eggs? I don't know. I feel huh. like she must be possessed because. Do we? This is in the Moira but we know. But she can't be possessed. That's one of her things. She can't be. If I cast that spell. Oh, if she casts a spell. I yeah. don't remember her it's... name. What is it? Protection from evil and good? So I think we should try this. Well. Can I cannot be possessed. Can we talk strategies? Um, <laughs> no, it's a break. It's a break. Oh, we did not go to TwitchCon this year. Oh, can dragonborns lay eggs? It doesn't say. It. Tell me this. So, so oh, Romanian says, says yes. yes. Who did? Romanian says dragonborns lay how eggs. How did you? How did they find this out? Because it's not in the book. I don't know. Yeah, protection from evil and good. Woo! Chris Malai X also says yes. Dragonborns lay eggs. How do y'all know? Oh my gosh, did I get pregnant with what's his name's baby? Yeah, well, I think you would no, know if I I, know. Know. I usually I usually make people we would know a constitution saving throw and if they get under ten we would have pregnant. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> that that have been it recently happened do you get like a bonus with? to your charisma and like a minus to like, something else in your months? Totally. <laughs> yeah. but, like, oh my was, god. Oh, sorry, when one of my games they had been like flirting for three years and they finally consummated their love on a farm that they found together with the whole event dream party and oh like my god. i had them totally roll a con oh save. my god yeah. it's been too long for the walton unless unless well i guess i've had a lot situation. of meetings. a long gestation like well, I, I don't, don't know, know how if they lay the eggs board. i feel like the dragon board like would be some different i wish she would have just laid an the egg the level of the right trail that it's i like, feel right now right away cannot be don't kiss me don't touch me don't even look at me no where my gummy bears you can't say that you love me Oh, man. Uh, J.S. Prabhu, you can uh, hit me up on Twitter. And, um, and uh, I will send you a link to my uh, Pixie Stats. Oh, congratulations, Johnny D&D. Yay. Well, I'm winning. Yeah. Uh, Tell the foes. Nice. Awesome. And be back, so I'm going to go. Oh, we're back. Are we fully back? Yay! We're back, we're back, we're back. All right, I'm going to try to find a really good song, you guys, because this deserves okay, also, some good music. I'm going to half your damage. Because I'm at zero, do I make a con save or a death so, save? Yes. What do so I do? So let's clarify this really quickly. Wait, wait, can you roll a con save first to see if you took half damage? We all have to roll con save. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, save. so I take half of... I got so so roll a con save. Let's clear, I'm going to clarify this. So what you guys, what happened was... As you guys had been brought into whatever place this is, there was just this wave of energy that just hit the back of you guys and you were all knocked forward. Um, you can feel this surge of like mental energy and, and, and fire. It's just, it's fire and brimstone that comes from the back of you. Now I would need all of you guys to roll a constitution saving throw if I'm not incorrect. I did. No, I didn't all right. And now, yes, I please roll now. Do. Yes. So I roll as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 13. 13. 14. Mine was a natty 20. Wasn't yes, it was a natty 20. <laughs> and 8. 8. I mean, yours was quite high too, 17. right? 17. So what is the con save for that particular one? My DC is 14. 14, okay. 14? Uh, so if yeah. anybody hit 14 and up, you take half damage and you are not knocked prone, Okay. 14 and under, you will take full damage and you're not prone. So a couple is of prone, of, like, like, prone is like prone is like you fall to the ground. Okay. You fall to the ground. Who who did take full damage? All right. No. I'm out. So you are out, formally out. Can use these shits. Eight. Eight. 
16 or 19. No. It's like right in between. What was the announce again? 39. Yeah. 39. We always round up, so it would be 20. What? I haven't done my calculations. Right. I just halved and then. What's no, it would be. Thirty of half, half of 39. It would be. Uh, no, it was. Half of 38 would be. Oh, 38. I think you said 39. Well, no, it no, is 39. It is 39, but uh-huh. we have to. But we always round up. It's nineteen point five. Yeah. So, so twenty. It is yeah, 20. Uh, twenty points. Uh, <laughs> wait, no, it wasn't thirty-nine. It was minus twenty-five and minus seventeen. Minus fourteen. I she said fourteen. Oh, fourteen. It was. it was seventeen. Was it seventeen? It was I seventeen. Heard 14. It was. No, it was seventeen. It may have been fourteen. What? I might have said fourteen the second time because I forgot. I so think it's it 17? was. I think it so was seventeen. 17. Uh, I think it I was was 17. I'm gonna press Kelly. So that's forty-two. That would be twenty-one. 21 points of damage. So 42 minus 20. If, you, if it's halved and then 42 for Halved is what, cool. 21? Mm-hmm. Wait, it was... So 92 minus 20. So you said 25. 25. I, I was writing as we were talking. I said 25 and then 13. That's not That's right. Oh, you wrote it? Yeah, she I wrote, wrote it when oh, she was I, talking. I, I honestly don't remember. I didn't so write it is 14? It. She said 13. I don't remember. No. She wrote it. I literally don't remember. All right. Remember. As a, in chat, remember, or write it <laughs> it's down. It's fine. We all got too excited and everyone was talking at once. It was but lot. it's fine. We'll make it 38. DM's call. Which is going to be full on 38 hit points, just to make it easy. And then that is 19 on the half. Okay. One hit point does make a difference, so that's fair. So, got it, everybody? We good? Yeah. We good? So, I would love to set you guys up where you all are right now um, in terms of the landscape. So, you are in this kind of barren, mountain-esque landscape. It actually does look like the valley of water deep back in the days a long long time ago when you guys were kind of witnessing things you can get just enough that you feel like the sky is black and there's that swirling energy above you um you see purple it's it's giving you that familiar vibe that you had in the tapestry however this is real And the earth below you is completely charred and everything looks like it's burnt to a crisp. There are no bodies, but it does look like you guys entered what appears to be a completely charred aftermath of whatever that was. So. Not my side. I get closer to you. You're too far away from me. Who was not crown? I'm not even there. Not me. me um, you, Rowan, and Fauna. So you guys were both kind of not I'm not crammed. there yet. I the need to be a little. Oh, and I have you here. Anishka. Anishka. Boom. I missed you. Uh, you're right here. And you guys are just standing here. Moira was waiting in the back. And you guys all turn around as she had done that in your direction. Uh, fear me no more. So as this casting occurred, whatever this thing is with Requiter just smacked into the ground and Moira, uh, question mark, completely covered in this armor with all of these eyes that are like twitching, trying to open up on her um, armor. You also catch that as she lifts up Requiter into the sky, you catch that there are, there's stirring. Whatever battle just happened, whatever just occurred that charred all this land, bones are starting to assemble behind her. No. Wow. What the, it's time what for the, fire. What the freaking Skeleton army. of it. What the freaking <clears throat> is happening right now? So, work it up. <laughs> Get it ready. Get it pumped. <laughs> no, no more. Yeah. What is this? Listen. It's worth Listen. noting that all of these things look like the same man. Yeah. They all come from the ground. They all assemble. And it all looks like some sort of warrior. And let's roll initiative. I yeah. can't mother do we, I can't. Yeah, um, no, you will be rolling initiative. I need you to roll initiative. But she still rolls initiative. But you will come back into battle if you get resurrected. And on your initiative <laughs> order, you will be rolling death saves. She's not dead. She's just she's knocked zero. out. Yeah, knocked out. Yeah. But I still need to have death saves on the initiative order. We were okay. advantage on the board. All right. And we should give something. As my bonus action for that surprise round, cast Shield of Faith. Yeah. Touch yourself, Shield of Faith. Cool. I have advantage on the initiative. So 20 right? and up. I have to go this. Shit, Christ! God! <laughs> <laughs> 20, no 20 and up. Okay. Uh, 20 to 15? 18. 18? Lana. Nice. Okay. Fine. Uh, 15 to 10? 13. 14. Oh, great. And 13 I'm, was you? I'm 10. And 10 was you? Yeah. Okay. And 10 was, okay, great. Got it. 
Nice. And below ten. I got eight. Five. Yeah, we just took eight. a trip for La Rocco. Hmm? Five. <laughs> For a Drinishka. Yes. Drinishka. It's what happens and after you roll a natty 20. Okay. You're going to treat me well in this situation. So, hey. I am rolling so everybody knows. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am rolling four times, and then each one of them is going to act within two. Okay? So, what I mean is like they work in parties of two because it's going to make it much easier to break it apart. Okay? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Definitely heard I didn't say anything. Okay. All right. One, two, three, and four. Got it. Awesome. Let's begin. First up, Fauna, what do you do? So if I block toe, that leads. <coughs> you have to stand up with half your action. I have to stand up with half my yep. action. Uh, not half your action. Half your movement. Half my movement. So you get up. You have half your movement left. Okay. So I have half your action. <laughs> So, uh, up, so I have 25, so half my movement, I could go... Mm -hmm. Another two and a half squares, just about. Okay. Wait, I was here, though. Yeah, you yeah. just got knocked up, and I turned you up. Yep. I'm just, um, <clears throat> I'm going to stand and go to Rowan and spare, uh, spare the dying. Great. Okay, so you cast Spare the Dying into her. You walk over. You feel stabilized. It does not hit you to, um, like, any particular point, but Spare the Dying lasts for how long? Uh, oh, they just become stable. Exactly. Well, so then they why don't I just, maybe I should just heal. Okay, well, so you want to bring her back. Because it stabilizes from the, the rolls, but if you want to try to bring her back, then a, a healing uh, yeah. of some sort would help. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cure wounds on her. Wait, uh, so dump in a cure wounds. Rowan, you feel yourself get brought back. You see everything around you. You see the tiny hands of Fauna. <laughs> you see the tiny hands of Fauna on you, like shaking. She's like freaking out. Uh, 15 points. All right, okay. nice. All right. And do you have a bonus action? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, Thank you, Fauna. Oh, wait. Cure wounds. I just get this all in order. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, and I'm going to cast. <clears throat> mm. Okay. I'm gonna cast healing word on her too. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and healing word, uh, usually you can't do two spells one action. But uh, how, healing what level? Is the bonus action though. Okay, but first not level. a problem. We can still, yeah, still do two spells as long as it's first level spell and it's on bonus action. Totally fine. Okay, okay great. So, surge her up a bit more, heal her up a bit more. Ten more. Ten. Okay, sounds good. Yay! So much Brought back. Bad. All right, Thanks, moving along. I love healing word. I like. I like <laughs> that house rule. All right, moving along. It says it actually. It's a bonus action. Oh, usually like du dual spells, you can't do it either way. But oh, really? I like bonus action. Like, but, yeah, like, generally speaking, spiritual you're not supposed weapon to. is a spell. We'll it's figure okay. it out post. We'll figure it. We'll figure it, it out post. Bonus. We'll do it in post. Anything like lower than level one, I don't have a problem with. Or level two, sometimes I'm fine with two. We'll just have to. Well, this is judgment call as a DM, you know. Okay, so Fauna, you go over, you he say a healing word to her, you dump in cure wounds, ruin your back, you're coughing, you look up and you just see what Moira has become or is right now. <laughs> you scream bitch <laughs> as you look up. Yeah. Fantastic. So on that turn, uh, these two. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Lala, you died. A little. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, too, <laughs> too quick. Too quick. Five, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So uh, currently within melee on these two rounds, one's going to go for Lala, one's going to go for Janishka. Okay? What? No. All right. Lala, what's your AC? Uh, 17. All right. Swings. This this creature, this assembled creature from the ground, it's, it looks kind of charred, though it is apparently all these... This warrior is just coming and charging at you, and they're running forward. Comes forward with its axe and goes to swing. Completely misses you. Good. And what's your AC? 
My AC is 15. <laughs> okay. Yes, this one comes down and also just barely misses you. It nicks just like almost the top of your horn, but you're able to dodge ah! before it does. Yes. All right. One, sorry. I'm very upset. <laughs> that is those four turns. Moira, it's your turn. Um, no. I'm going to use an action to channel my elder champion state. Yeah. Uh, she... Vines start to grow out of the ground, but they're like pre-wilted and dead, and they sort of spiral around her and cover her like a second suit of armor. And she is going to step back okay. two spaces, okay. look to Fauna, and in this voice that is not Moira, it is deep and it reverberates through her metal shell like a bell. She says, you made your choice and Lathander made his. All right. <laughs> Any bonus action? Actually, as a bonus action, now that I'm in Elder Champion state, I can cast mm. any spell as a bonus. Is this so bitch Lorel? No. <laughs> Am I Lorel? Why would I be Lorel? Who's Lorel? Oh, this is Helm. Well, not Lorel. Oh, she's thinking, that bad. Which, 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 um, you're thinking of Valindra. 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 No, this is Helm. This I is Helm this being is a bee. Lythander. Like Lysander? Lysander. <laughs> Lysander. Lysander. I don't know. I'm um, speaking English. I'm going to... Comment. Oh, God. What this am I going to do? I don't know. Freaking hell. Freaking <laughs> D-bag. I'm going to use one of my uh, fireball. A fireball? Yeah. Right behind them so it hits the back of them. All right. You cast fireball. That is a 30-foot radius. Oh, you want to play with fire, it's little girl? It's my 20-foot uh, <laughs> radius sphere. Yep. Um, uh, right behind them. Right Don't want to hit anyone. <laughs> no. All right. That's uh, going to hit all four it's, of you. I, I like pick it out of the bracelet and yep. chuck the yep. little ruby. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to need to borrow D6s. No! Please. So, yeah, this is going to be saved from yeah, Dex, Rowan, Fauna, Lilith, and Lala. Jernishka, you're okay. Wait, I have resistance I have against fire damage. All right, so no matter what happens, enough. you'll take half, and they're half and half. Okay. But I need a I need a, a save, and this what is a deck save. save. What a fourteen? You what said. Um, this one says thirteen. I don't so know. So a deck save of thirteen because it's a bracelet. bracelet. So deck okay. save of thirteen. Deck save. Yeah. Fourteen. You made it. Seven. 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 Twenty. Seven. Four. Seven. Yeah. Fourteen. So I make, if I make a save, I don't take any. Yeah, you make. Is uh, it a saving it to pass? It. I would do a saving throw cap. or just a save. No. Oh. This is a saving throw. Okay. Um. Then twenty-one. 21. Okay, so you'll take half damage. Oh. Half damage if you hit that so one. Half, half, half. Half, half. Oh, 27. Do I half take for half you? Half, Kelly? No, full. Full? I need you to roll with disadvantage because you're knocked prone. You're not yet standing. Oh. Kelly. Yeah? We'll take half of oh, half. half. Well, that was my disadvantage. When you roll, so okay. okay, so you actually make it either way, even though you're okay. knocked prone, you're so not able to play. So what is the half? Like so what am I halving? No, it's if you didn't hit any of these when you rolled, then it's 24. Let me count again before. So that you said 24. 19, 12. It is 24. Yeah. 24 points if you take full damage. Now, if you made the save, which many of you did, that's just 12. 12 points of fire damage, okay? But this this fireball just perfectly, exactly pointed so it doesn't hit any of these minions. Just envelops you all for a second as Mother. you see that she had used one of the beads on her. Yeah. Whew. All right. Moving along. The other batch of them start to run forward. Other batch? Yep, these ones. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were bringing more. Five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Going to use their full dash action to get engaged. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to like create essentially a wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, take that one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there is one within melee that this one will use its full dash to get right in front of Fauna. All right. All right. Ready? What's your AC? It's me? Yeah. One, I am the one, last, one, I thought. One was in melee to hit you. What's your AC again? Oh, that'll hit. 15. Yeah, that'll hit. So this axe just comes down and smacks into your back, successfully hitting you. Four. But don't I have... You're not yet raging. But. But. <laughs> but. What? <laughs> something. I know I'm resistant to something. Right. Yeah. Fire. Once you. Uh, I know fire. Yeah. But once you go into rage, you're able to like and pull I off. And I rage yet, right? No, not yet. Okay. Um, but thankfully, it, I it's only six points of slashing damage, but it hits you into your back like, 
cracks right into it, and you're like, <laughs> this guy's ready to fight. All oh, right, that so is am I. their turns. They had used their full actions or moves to get to you guys and draw that line. Lilith, it's your turn. I'm gonna back up. Okay. Um, you're gonna have two opportunity attacks against you. They're gonna be able to swing towards Stop. you. Never mind. Just kidding. Sorry for cursing. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, la, 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 la. The situation works. As if we hadn't so oh, no, 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 no. There will be lots of clarifications today. and pulls because, <laughs> technically speaking, somebody's playing a, a character and I'm not. So, yeah. thanks for working with us here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast the stove. Okay. We heard we cut out. Hey guys, sorry. Uh, yeah, we heard we cut out, and I don't know what we need to clarify, but essentially, all of these uh, these kind of minions, these, these warrior men, all that have been assembled, mm -hmm. rush forward, use one action to hit Dranishka, and then the other three had used a full dash just to get into melee with everybody. Um, Lilith, it's now your turn. So, what would you like to do? There are two engaged with you right now, so you can't walk away without having them hit you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to cast the Stow Curse on okay. this guy. All right, that one right in front of you? Yeah. All right, sounds good. And um, while cursed, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with his disadvantage on attack rolls against me. Okay, sounds great. Does it have to make a save, or is that an auto-hit auto, auto hit curse, a stow curse? Uh, you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become cursed. Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah. Wisdom save, I rolled... Rolled 17. Does that beat your... Uh, your yes. Yeah, okay. So you can feel you attempt the curse, and it just passes through, and you're... You're just your fingers out, and these creatures, these summoned creatures, are, are, are much stronger than you were expecting at this moment. Um, all right. Can I do healing word as my bonus? You may, yes. Bonus. So you're just like casting that out, and then you quickly say a healing word to yourself to get your, yourself into better shape. Okay, that is your turn, Lola. Rowan, what do you want to do? Would you like to get up from being prone? Um, wouldn't I already be up? No, it I wouldn't have been your, lying down this whole time, would I? Yeah, that's how. So you, every round, you get your movement, your action, and your bonus action. You would have to use half your movement to get up right now because you have been on the ground. Okay, I'll use half, half my movement to okay. get up. All right, and then with the other half of my movement. Mm -hmm. So what's your speed usually? Thirty. Um, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, so you have two squares. You have two and less squares you can move. I'd like to move two squares that way. Like yeah. That? Okay, and I'm gonna cast Moonbeam, bitch, okay. at fourth level. Where? <laughs> where? Um, where on her? On Moira. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So you're just like yes, <laughs> yes. yes. I will take the yes. yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, it's only fitting that Moira gets moved. Yes, yeah, so, so that's actually, that's fair. Um, okay, so. Uh, so you need to roll damage and you need to make a save. I have resistance against spells. Yes. It's part of my uh, aura of warding that so I now have. have. So resistance will give you advantage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But also, it will still work. Aren't you like vined into the ground right now? So no, they oh. came up and they attached to me. Um, so I can, like, made her stronger. So yeah. you make a con save? Mm hmm. Almost good. Uh, 11. Okay. And it does not be a 14. No, that's it. You're going to take 40 turn. So 40 turn, but because of your resistance, you take half. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's going to be 11 points. Okay. And with my bonus action, mm -hmm. I'm transforming into an Allosaurus. Okay. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. I actually I conveniently have, have a dinosaur allosaurus. Hold on. Can you please replace it? People. This is going to make me so happy. And I look like a raptor on steroids. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, this one is Yikes. not correctly the size, but we have a couple options for your allosaurus. I got some old friends of ours, if you guys remember. I got a, a couple of them here. Anyone the in particular? One. The red one? Yeah. All right, mind handing that over to her? Yeah. yeah. And you want to replace yourself for a second as the I'm Allosaurus? I'm a dinosaur. And become this giant, great, 
this beautiful dinosaur <laughs> just on the party line, ready to battle. All right, great. Sounds good. So you can, don't forget, you can maintain for one minute that, that moonbeam currently on Moira that's just beaming down this light energy. All yes. right. So I also have to mark it a moonbeam radius so we know where it's moving to. Okay. So it's a five foot radius. So this is it currently right on you. Okay. Hits all the squares around there. Cool. Moving along. That is your turn, Miss Rowan Lala. Oh gosh. Uh, I guess I'll just deal with what's in front of me right now. Sounds good. <laughs> you have two, uh, two, one folk within range of you right now, and one on your right hand on the other um, side with engage with the Lord. And if I were to fly up so I can shoot down at them, that would give them opportunity attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna do it because I have escaped the horde, and so opportunity attacks made against me are at disadvantage. Great. All right, so they're um, both gonna have disadvantage as they attempt to swing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of like fly up and back. Okay, uh, with a disadvantage that's 17 to hit. Okay, well, one hits me. One will hit, and then with the other one, disadvantage that is a 15 to hit. Okay, that does not hit me. Okay. All right, so you're gonna fly up a bit. Up and back. Up and back, just so up I can get back. a better range. I'll put you on this awesome D10. Yay! Mm -hmm. And how much did that guy hit me for? I will roll damage in a moment. It is going to be six points of slashing okay. as the axe catches uh, you. Okay. Well, I'm going to shoot at the one that hit me. Okay. Um, uh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. Roll for damage. And it's going to take... Uh, is it at full HP right now? Yes, it is. Okay, well then it is going to take um, 11 points of damage. Nice. And then I'm going to use my bonus action really quick to uh -huh. cast um, Hunter's Mark. All right. And then I'm going to hit it again. All right. With a nat 20 to hit. Nat 20. So it is going to take... Double damage. Um, wait, do I double the initial roll, Just right? the initial okay. roll damage, yeah. So it's going to take uh, 15 points of regular damage. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> with uh, one additional for my Colossus Slayer. Okay. And then... Hunter's Mark. And then five with my Hunter's Mark. Yeah, with your arrows alone, you've nearly, <laughs> you've almost halved this thing's HP. As you're going down and you're just two arrows, just strong, as much power as possible, you're just channeling energy within this arrow and you crack into the body and the location that you saw it assembled and you see it falling apart, but it's still keeping its form, but it's not looking in good shape. So this one immediately in front of you is not looking great. great. Okay. All right. Good job, Lala. Trinishka. You're so unenthused. What do you want to do? Very upset. <laughs> well, I go into a rage. <laughs> and then now, uh, okay, so this is the thing. Mm -hmm. If I am, uh, if I have a breath weapon. Yes, yeah. It is uh, 30, wait, hold on. It is five by 30 feet. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. You could, um, if if you I turn, angle, mm -hmm. yeah, if you angle it, you can hit these two, or if you go this direction, That's what I was thinking. 5, 10, 15, mm -hmm. 20, 25, you could probably hit all these people. If you but I won't them. hit the girls? No, you will not hit them because they're in a line. Let's do it! Are you going to turn? I'm turning and I'm going to hit all these guys on my friends. And can you read the read it one more time? It's okay, so breath 30. weapon. Yeah, it's because it. Um, mm, 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 mm. When you use your breath weapon, each creature in the area of the exhalation yeah. must make a saving throw. Yes. DC. Oh yeah, so it's mine. It's um mine's fourteen. What's the DC. The, what kind of saving throw? It is a, does not Dex. say. It's probably Dex. Oh DC. Yeah, it's Constitution mod eight plus my Constitution modifier plus my bonus uh, proficiency bonus. Uh, uh -huh. 3d6. 3d6. Okay, sounds good. And it's a 30 foot, a uh, 5 30 foot line. Line. So, like, it's a line. Like, you Doesn't can say. Which legit, one are you? It does not I'm span a out. brass. So, you can yeah, hit so if it's a line. Yeah. line. Dex, dex save. save. Sorry, yeah, so dex you save. You can hit all four of these. You want to hit all four of them? All right. I want to hit as many mother Cut skeletals as I can. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right. Itches. Let me roll their dex saves. <laughs> all right. Uh, the batch over here do not succeed. These two do. So, so it'll be half damage. damage. So oh, so roll. I did a 3d6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Nine. Mm -hmm. Wait, but do I have a... On, I don't have any sort of initiative thing on the damages, no. do I? So if it's nine, that's a full that's full damage of nine, and then there's half. So but there's don't I have another action? Five. Is that two actions now? Yeah, that's, I think that your Rage breath, is a bonus. 
Yes, rage is your bonus, and your breath weapon is your full action. So and then I have one. No, you don't have. Uh, you it's... only have double action when you're hitting something. <gasps> yeah, I know. You Starting to... fifth level, you're spin wave. Beginning fifth level, you attack twice instead of once. Whenever attack you take attack action. As an action, you didn't attack with your weapon as an. No, I didn't. Weapon. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little finicky. Okay. Thing. But next so, round, but how many did I hurt? Weapon, you hit quite a lot of them. Let me, uh, let me calculate them. that. Yeah, you hit all of them. Technically Some speaking. Of them took did yeah. that one die that she was hitting? No, but he looks die. much more weak. And then there is, you said nine points, correct? Yeah. That is nine there. That is nine there. And that is- That's it, nine? That sucks. Uh, five there. <laughs> okay. All right. It's not bad, actually, because you got a lot of them. Don't oh, forget. Oh, but they have to, what's the, de they have to do- They made their saves, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Moving along. Good job, Junishka. Do you wish to move, or do you want to stay around all of them so you can hit them next round? I want to stay. Okay. Sounds good. Fana. You're up. So, <laughs> I've been uh, I can't even wait. regretting my decision. Okay. And you had time to regret your decision. Oh yeah! As soon as I landed, I the said I made seconds. the wrong choice. I do that all the time. And I, I and I remembered <laughs> that I had I forget what it was, but it was a minute could save a life mm -hmm. from Sorry, the uh. Yeah, you have an hourglass. Yeah, my hourglass. And I'm going to do it. You're going to use your full action to turn time back in a, a minute. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh! Ooh. This is genius. Okay. <laughs> she gave it to me during Yeah. I, mean, I did. So no, I totally awesome. did. Roll a wisdom check as you're trying to turn this. <gasps> oh, I, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm a one, but I'm lucky. I'm a lucky little. Why? <laughs> right. You're gonna. I'm a halfling. I'm lucky. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, twenty. No, I rolled another one. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. As it's just you, wisdom. It's just wisdom. As no, you, it's, I can't. As use it. you Why? hold this in your hand, well, it know. disintegrates. Oh. As you're trying to turn it and it's not communicating with you, you don't know what's wrong, and it just disintegrates into sand My through your hands. Oh, oh, oh. That was about to be so awesome. <gasps> I know, and then I went two ones in a row. <laughs> and that's the story. Wow. Uh, so, oh so we all died. Okay. What cool. do you want to do on your bonus action? Oh God. You still have a bonus. That was your full action to do that. Um uh, my bonus action. Oh my um Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's unheard of. I mean, oh, I mean it's nice. unheard of. Immediately. That's that wild. To me earlier. That's like Lysander, like, Lysander being like. Yeah, Lysander's like, oh, we're taking a guy on. You made your choice. You made your choice. Oh, shit. That is so poetic. Is oh my oh. god. So, basically, what we're learning is that Lysander sold his soul. <laughs> I is that what this whole student side commentary trying to figure <laughs> well, out exactly what's going waiting on? Waiting for her to she do her action. So. Okay. Oh she my did it. God. So, um, a teenager. So if there's no bonus action, you can think of. I have of... a bonus. I'm doing a bonus, and I'm oh. doing. I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna mass healing. healing it's just easier to level. level. Okay. <laughs> and bonus action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mass healing word on a bonus level. You can uh, uh, oh, choose folks you. around you Love within you the so radius. Much. So I think all of the ladies hit. Uh, except for Moira, I don't think she's within radius of you. Oh, oh, like she doesn't need people too. I don't think. Yeah, she's not yeah. chosen. I, I don't think that they would choose to heal me right now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just a hunch. Oh. Eleven points. Eleven points. I cannot so you that. You guys feel stronger. Points. But you yeah, just yeah, see okay. through this, like through sand, like sands of literal time falling through Fauna's like hands. Sand really are in my soul, the days of our lives. <laughs> Does that apply to me in animal form to my Rowan stats or not really? No, no, okay. it caps off your animal form. So when okay. you're in animal form, it affects so your animal sad. form. Yeah. I'm so sad. Okay. I'm so sad that Fauna, would you like to move or are you good? I was excited to see what was going um, on. I would, I would, it's an opportunity of attack, huh? If I move. Okay. Um, Does anyone have mending? It disintegrated. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> right. I'm thinking, no, I'm not moving. Stay there? Okay. So on that turn, it is now these creatures' turns. Uh, these two here and two engage with Nishka. This one runs up. 
Oh, but I've resisted now, bitch, because I'm raging. <laughs> yes, you will have resistance. This one, realizing that you're kind of far away from it, frustrated, is going to turn and fight. Pull it one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one's gonna go for you, Rowan. All right, so that is going to be Chix. Uh, what's your AC, Rowan? 15. 15? That is a miss. They swing, and you, you, <laughs> you turn into four, and no longer can hit you as it kind of like backtracks with your change. Uh, it's going to be two hits on Lilith. What's your AC? 13. Uh, that's one hit, one miss. So one uh, takes the axe down and whacks into your back. The other one kind of misses one of his friends trying to hit you. That is going to be 12 points of slashing damage. Ooh, which one? Um, this one. That, that's the one I blade warded, isn't it? No, no, you tried or to bestow, bestow curse, but it bestow. fought it off. Oh, right. Unfortunately, with its wisdom save. Yes, 12 points on the back. Do you feel that crack into you? Moira, it's your turn. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Two are going after Junishka. I can't forget that. Armor class Uh, 15. Armor class 15. One hit successfully. Resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. All right. You only take uh, half of four points of slashing damage. I rolled really low. So two points of slashing Ah! damage as it goes into your back and your body kind of tenses up. Kiss my scales. All right, that is their turns. Moira, you're up. And she starts with damage. Yeah. Removing. Hang on, though. I'm going to use my 14th level cleansing touch to end that spell. 14. But it hits her first. Does it hit me first? Uh, yeah, because it's hard to Because you start your turn. I would, I would say you would have to start your turn in it, and then you would be able to uh, use that spell to dis, uh, dis- disintegrate And it's it. still 11? So you'll, yes. It's 11 again. It's an 11 yeah. on a constant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're mm-hmm. keeping it. Yeah, okay. It's mm-hmm. Okay, but with my Elder Ward, I get some back. Yeah. Uh, cleansing touch as an action. Yep. Bamf that off. Um, you just see the spell, like, go away. And especially, on, like, it, it kind of just shuts up, like, like almost like, like putting a, your finger over the mouth of that spell caster. And it's wild. You guys have never seen her like this, and you don't know where these powers are coming from, but she's incredibly oh, strong goodness. right now. All right. It's not. Wait, that's I have not, a bonus action. Moira. I can use She's possessed. my my thing to cast a spell as a bonus action. I'm going to cast Moonbeam at fifth level. You already used cleansing spells that's at Channel action. Divinity. On, is action. that a Channel Divinity? Uh, no, it's just, it's under the oath. It says beginning at 14th okay. level, you can use your action to end one yep. spell against you. If, that, if you're using your oath, and that's like, a, that. yep, you can totally cast a spell on a bonus action if you're allowed to. Yeah. Moonbeam can go yeah. on bonus. It doesn't say it's a spell. This is how we all die. All right. Um, and our, our last is gone. There. I want to be able to hit I did not come back Rowan, Fauna, and Lilith. Um, is, is Moonbeam, but Moonbeam is not a full action spell? It is a full action spell. I'm using my, one of the built-in things in Elder Champion is that I can cast spells as a bonus action. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, then it's going to work. Sorry, guys. Try to help you. All right. So what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so Moonbeam back. Ask, so yeah. getting asked, does it also get her guys? Might depends on where she casts it. I'm so Moira, where you like to do it? So that they're in, you know, this back corner. They, yeah. All three of those are in that back corner. If it hits that guy, that's fine. You don't care. So you want to get? It's only uh, as many as I can. So you can get one, two. You can get Lala and uh, the Allosaurus. Would you like that? Or you can get if you I wish. Get those you can get Fauna, right in there. the Allosaurus, and Lilith. Yes. Okay. And, and, guy. and you're gonna. Go and my guy. That's fine. All right, the moonbeam gets yeah. hit back. Whenever you cast a paladin spell that has fifth a casting level. time of one action, you can cast right. using a bonus action. Sounds instead. good. Um, so fifth level, okay, so I okay. need some D10s. Not- <laughs> I got queens, um, guys, only. Ones. No. That's I need a second. Um, I need three more, no, one more. It's five uh, Okay. Okay. Um, you are all going to be making a con save. Okay. So um, eight minutes. Yeah. Yep. It's a lot. Make your con save. And con saves for anybody who's in that circle. So that would be yeah. you three. 13. 13? That will not pass. No, mine's not passing. No. No. It's 36 points of radiant. I'm dead. I'm out, too. (laughs) 
as you guys just get knocked out. What? Bam. <laughs> Someone who has healing left needs to do something. Someone. All right. I just got back and I just got an eye oh. patch. Oh. So at, at the very end of my turn, I want to say something, can I? Yeah. She's going to, again, look to Fauna that's now on the ground, and her eyes are staring into you. She says, bring him to me. And I'm knocked. Yeah. Wow. You, get, you just hear that as you're getting knocked out. Like, from I this hear this, and I just, game. like, barely, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> as you pass out from that. All right, so now, engaged is going to be uh, these two hitting Junishka. And you're still up? Yeah. All right. These ones are not the brightest. They're going to... Not by much. Nope. I don't have pressure. magic, people, so don't leave me alone. I'm going to hit you. Uh, Someone needs to bring me back so I can heal. I mean, I'm well, well, yeah. I'm well right. below so, zero, so am I Are you double dead? zero? Are you double your... Are you more you have to be negative point. your max hit points. Are you negative your max no. hit points? You're, you're not, because that, that, you have much more hit points than that. Uh, one is going to successfully hit you sure. with your armor class, uh, the dinosaur. You roll 23 to hit. And they both miss you as they try to hit you. Uh, but one successfully hits your back for uh, four points of slashing damage. So he's able to cut just on the cusp of its axe. Lilith, I need you to make a death saving throw, please. It's your turn. I'm dead. Yeah, I need you to roll a d20, please. I'm dead, we're out. Not dead. First up. 11. All right, that's a pass. It's a success. It has to be make sure you mark it. You need three successes to come back. All right. Rowan, on your thing. it's your turn. Success. Okay, and this guy is attacking me? Yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, there's two. Which one's attacking, attacking me? me? This one and this one is attacking me. Those okay, two. I'm gonna go to the one in front of me okay. and I'm gonna bite him. All right. So, uh, 20 to hit, dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20, okay. Mm -hmm. And then bite to d10. Oh shoot, no, you auto fail because you're in Moonbeam. Oh, auto fail. I forgot you're in Moonbeam. The Moonbeam's on you, Lilith. What? You auto fail. You're in Moonbeam. Well, and that takes, that's an auto two death saves. Oh, right. So yeah. I need to. Okay. There's an auto so two I fail twice? Yeah. So I'm not succeeding Wait, ever. No. Wait, why? Moonbeam, you take, when you are knocked out mm. and something hits you, you take full damage. It's just damage continually hitting right? And you okay. hit it and you yeah. fail two things. So. Yep. Okay. So. <gasps> So, so you take so no, right at the top of your turn. You take how much damage was it? It's thirty-six. Thirty-six. Is about to die. So I need you to so so I'm at zero now. now and uh, zero. zero. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing. Not all our. So now I'm back. Out. Well, no, that's zero for my animal points. So that's do the. So now I'm at my normal hit form. points. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now I'm me again. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. And so no. angry. So angry. I'm so angry. Your face on her face tray. Oh, she, here she is. I can't believe this. Oh, I cannot. Okay, so I cast. Mm -hmm. I I move. Wait, hang on. Did she I move him too, though? Yeah, but she took the damage so, already. That's why she. Oh yeah. Him. Yeah. So. But this moonbeam's on you, and your two friends are down, and you know right. that she's gonna get hurt next round. Okay. So what I. Can I do this? Can I, for my movement, grab her and drag her out you of moonbeam? You can do that for your action and your movement. You can do that. But it will ruin your action. My action. Will not have an action. Okay, so I'll I'll just move okay. out of Moonbeam and then okay. my action. Mm -hmm. I'll be but here. I'm gonna get hit as soon as my turn. Mm -hmm. oh my yeah, God. I know. So drag me, take me. Yeah, because it's not gonna give you. So the you're just gonna drag her out of there. Right? Yeah, sounds good. You drag, drag her out of that Moonbeam. Yeah, sounds good. Use your full yeah. action to grab her and you yeah. pull her. You just drag her body out of Moonbeam. You know Lilith's mm -hmm. in there. I know. You just see this ray of light, and it's like she's not more a normal Moonbeam, you, which is for your own good. And this and so. this Moonbeam is like black, inky, purple Moonbeam. It's coming directly from the sky above that had that swirling aftermath. It's not pretty. Um, okay. That is your, and do you have a bonus action? Um, my bonus action? Yeah, I'm going to turn back one? into an Allosaurus yes, again. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Get out of here, woman. Yeah. Do I need to heal yeah. me first so I can just I don't, I can't as a bonus action. Sure. Do you have healing? No. That is your turn. Good job, Rowan. Lala. Otherwise, I would. Um, I'm going to actually, I, can I just have you make a quick perception check as you're trying to drag her out really quick? Yeah, please. Yes. Plus, hang on, I have Allosaurus stats. Okay. Um, so that's 23. 
on the cusp of your vision as you're trying to pull her out, mm -hmm. you look over and you see some source of light, like almost like trying to push through almost like a thin film of something. And you can catch that what's trying to push through into wherever you guys are mm -hmm. is that angel from earlier. And it's desperately throwing itself against something trying to get wherever you guys are right now. Okay. All right. You catch that off the corner of your eye. Lala. I'm going to fly over to, um, to Fauna. I'm going to drop Hunter's Mark and I'm going to uh, cure wounds. All right. You drop Hunter's Mark, you fly over to Fauna and you cure wounds. Mm -hmm. And that's um, fly around. What's your speed? Uh, 35. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can only get to here. Ah. Uh, get to there. Sorry. Okay, I'm well then, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna gonna go as far as I can to get to her, and that'll just be my action. All right, yeah, you can fly all the way to there. And well, but can I, can I actually reach her and on my turn? You could use your full <clears throat> action to get next to her, but that's as far as you can fly, and don't forget yeah. you're about 10 feet up. Yeah, I'm gonna use my full action to get to okay. her. Okay, you can fly all the way there. All right, you do so. And you're right next to her, using your full action. You still have a bonus. You still um, have a bonus. Use your full action and your movement. Uh, I don't really have any bonuses I can yeah. use right now. So. Okay, sounds good. All right, Lala, that is your move. So at this, mm. nat 20, that angel just <gasps> and tumbles yeah. fucking through. Excuse me. But just burst through and is like here and looking around and it's that angel of light and it looks panicked like it doesn't understand what's going on um it yeah no it <laughs> flies over goes up to you fauna puts its hands on you you feel a surge of energy go through your body you take 17 26 points of healing uh, of healing touch as you just feel like the surge of healing go through your body. You look up, there's this angel, this like white angel looking at you. You are freed from curse, disease, poison, blindness, and deafness too. You just feel completely ignited. And it doesn't say, it's just looking at you like panicked. Okay, it doesn't really have a face though. It doesn't really have a form. It's like trying to speak with you, but it's just trying to help. All right, that is its turn and its movement. Dranishka, you're up. What do you want to do? Great. My st it's been, I have a, I've raged for a minute. Am I still raging? Yeah, you're still raging. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is I don't have any more breaths because mm -hmm. you can only do one. I have to rest for a short mm -hmm. period of time. And that, Correct. That's like not in battle, right? You can't no. be like, oh, they went. So no, I you have, have to have like a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> that's what, that that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, then I have to use some weapons. <laughs> Sounds good. I have my great axe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to use it. Okay. Um, one, the 12. Where is, which one is the 12? We'll roll the 20 first to see if you yeah, hit. See if you oh, right. You guys, it's been a while. Does she have advantage or anything because she's raging? Yeah. Um, right. Strength check. On yeah. strength checks. Yeah. But not on attacks. Okay. Well, so that what, would be reckless attack. That what am I doing? This 22. plus what? Plus seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That will yes. hit. And you want to hit... This one over here, the one, one right in front of you. I can only do one. I have a big stroke. They're pretty strong. You want to hit both of them? Uh, like, like you can try, but you can only hit one at per time. That's your action. Yeah, let's one. hit the one. That one. Right you get two actions too, so you can hit the you other one. You can hit him twice. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, hit him twice. Roll again. So roll for damage, and then you get to roll again. Okay, roll the for damage. This one. Ah, this is too heavy. I forgot. You want to do this? This is it. This is Okay. Um, plus four, 15. Ooh. Nice, oh, yeah, yeah nice. good hit on them. Want to roll out and then also hit? plus two, because I'm in a rage. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, roll again to attack. It's 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 definitely taking the brunt of that hit. Oi, three plus seven, 10. Yeah, not quite enough as you're going to hit and it's able to just dodge. All right, that is your full turn if you would like. I guess so, unless All I right. can bon do no. No, not, uh, unfortunately yes. not, I think you used that one. So. Back to the top of the turn, but you can move, but I think you want to stay yeah, in battle. Yeah, stay in battle. All right. Unless I want to go backwards. So top of the turn, Fauna. That angel's over you and just pressing energy into you and is looking over at what is apparently Moira. Is she prone? Yeah, you're prone. Do you want to get, uh, do you want to stand up? Uh, yeah. All right, half your movement, stand up. Okay. Okay. I'm 
I'm gonna go right here. As you do that, the angel tries to touch you mm -hmm. and is trying to pull at something that you have. <gasps> My book. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> okay, I take I take that hint. Yeah. And I <laughs> please don't make this I a move gift. here. <laughs> please not. I move here. Okay, you move there. Okay. And then I open please my book do. on 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 Moira please and the Okay. Roll the hit. <laughs> What's your AC? Who is she pointing it at? Twenty. At Moira and maybe these guys here. Okay. Roll the hit. Okay. But not me. Please let me enter. Do better. <laughs> like this tiny box you have. I'm just saying. It's so there's not enough room for rolling. So you're gonna I'm gonna allow it auto crit damage. That's a hundred points of pure radiant damage as this book opens up like you've never seen before. And actually, as you open the book, the angel that itself is looking like what is happening. The, the whole book like consumes you, Fauna, and you like force speed, like a cheetah, just collide into Moira. Moira. What? I have undying sentinel. So if mm -hmm. I was gonna be killed outright, mm. I instead go to one hit point. Okay. So what happens is this, you press and you just smack into Moira, Moira. You can't even concentrate on that spell anymore as the moonbeam drops. Mm -hmm. ah! All of these other creatures kind of almost for a second take a moment and they're not certain what to do knowing that someone's not giving them instructions. They, they're, they're looking around a little confused. Moira, you actually just transport like right next to her as she gets knocked. Do you want to describe what, what happens as you get knocked down? and all those eyes are on your body and yeah. they don't realize that you're not dead. So she goes down and there's this huge cloud of yeah, dust. I don't and I want to run at her if the book's just doing its thing. The book, the, the the book, book took like, over Lysander, me. Like, like completely to took over you and brought you right next to her. Know, yeah. <laughs> so she uh, goes down and it looks like it's, you know, the end of the fight. Bugs. And all of a sudden, as you're looking down at her face, every single eye starts to weep. This black ichor. And the one eye in the center of her forehead slowly opens, and it's staring right at you. And so, then her eyes open. So you realize she's not down. Like, that was... you. you none of you. I'm sorry, you were knocked out, but none of you who are around can see have seen that sort of force and power. Like have never seen something that strong, that scary, that much damage all at once. And you just witnessed this book and it's still in your hand, but it's not like fading away. But you're holding this book and you're next to Moira and you realize that she's still up. And she's still fighting. All right, you're down to one hit point. One hit point. Okay. Can moving I use along. my bonus? Fucking do it. Yeah. Oh wait, I also have resistance against spell damage. Is this a spell? Heal me. No, okay. okay. Heal me. So, okay, is that that every me. time Sorry. she goes to zero, she goes to one, how do you get rid of her? Uh, no, this is this is something I can this only use once. You can't use it again once. until you have yeah. a long rest. So do Sorry, something. Look at <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> Take out your little knife. Can't help it. Take out a dagger right here. and drive it into <laughs> the eyeball. Can you drive something into the eyeball? All right, I am... Fucking <laughs> put something in that eyeball. What is something? Are like? we trying to kill Moira? I mean, I'm throw your holy symbol. No, the yeah, eyeball is on Moira. I mean, <laughs> it's on <laughs> holy water. <laughs> um, she never had it. An exorcism. <laughs> exactly. That eyeball. Is I mean, all I can do is uh, call my spiritual weapon upon her. Okay, you do so. You call your phoenix forward. Your Lethandrite inspired phoenix. To, put, to like phoenix. poke at the eyeball, just like in Harry right Potter. Next yeah. to her, and she's gonna claw. The phoenix mm -hmm. is gonna claw. Roll to hit. Yeah. Hi, I see. <laughs> no, the phoenix is, is barely clawing at this armor, and this armor's strong, and you, you it's but a but a, a wisp right now. It's a, it's barely even a whisker of any pain. All right, moving along. That is your turn, Fauna. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to Moira as this is happening? You're right no, next I'm to her. No, I'm just going to call to Lathander and say, Lathander, help. We need you. I chose you. Oh, wait, I'm Fauna. Lavander, <laughs> I chose you. I need you. If I ever needed you, take whatever's taken Moira and 
and save her and save us. You do so, you scream to the gods above. Holding my holy symbol. Have you used divine intervention yet successfully? Yeah. No, I haven't had time yet. No, wait. Oh, wait, wait divine intervention. The, 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 when she was rolling the percentage, she got to talk to him. Yeah, we did talk to him, okay. and it takes a full 10 days, so unfortunately, I don't yeah. think you have a secondary okay. chance to How speak to him. I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, is this. I know, we'd have to double check, but it right was now. when we were in the mountain, like mm-hmm. early on. Oh, then a 10 day would have passed. Yeah. Then a 10 day would have passed. Want to roll your, want to roll your percentile yeah. dice? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> the free action? Okay, I rolled this and, and it's crying. So you're telling me she go to talk to this guy the whole time? <laughs> Sometimes. Speaking common now. <laughs> Yo, what's the deal with that? 94%. Shut up! Shut up! Oh my gosh. Like, I need to roll two lines, so now I guess I'll show up. Yeah. Okay. What's the fuck? What is happening? So then this is what happened. You're so to decide. for a crazy game. What happened was this. As you say that, your phoenix looks at you. And it's usually a spiritual phoenix. But you see it start to ignite into actual flames. You see an actual phoenix before you. And as this phoenix grows three times its size, it lets out a huge, <laughs> as it just goes through, and it slices down and it takes down every single one of these people. Wow. Then, yeah, this freaking, you are starting as you pray down to Lathander and he, and this means it's taking them out. Like it has to, it's, it's physically taking its full action to hit all of these creatures. You can see that like whatever you're in, whatever place this is, the actual fabric of it is beginning to shake and move and vibrate. There's still a presence, something's still trying to fight it, but he's trying to connect, he's trying to contact you. And this angel's looking around, like panicked, like looking for him. So there's a direct communication happening right now as this phoenix is just decimating them all. All right, that is what happens. And that divine intervention. What? Okay, that was literally all their turns. So it's just Moira's turn right now. Oh no. You just kill them all. <laughs> Jeez. Boy, howdy. Um, I'm going to use my speed to get up. Okay. So I'm not Have prone. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm laying on hands and dumping the entire thing in myself. Okay. Um, I'm going to um oh shoot, what am I going to do? I really I don't know. This is quite a predicament. Um, <laughs> she thinks it's yeah. quite a predicament. <laughs> right. All right. It's like, how can I'm I kill my entire my party? <laughs> to cast Misty Step and Misty Step 60 okay. feet away. 60 feet away? Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, all the way over there? Yeah. You just... One more. One and more. Um, at the end, I'm, I'm going to look to the Phoenix and to Fauna and just shout. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Double check. I will have justice for what you've done to me, Lathander. And that's it. Moira, can I have you make a wisdom check? Yeah. I want to give you advantage on this. Oh. Wow, that was one number apart. Hmm? 18. There's just like a, a moment that you look and you see Fauna, you. Uh-huh. And you see the scene and you see how everybody is here, friends down. And then you're back, you're, you don't even know. It's just out. Complete, com- complete consumption. I'm assuming then that the eyes would for a split second go normal. Split second. And then they're back to that black eye. Yeah. All right, so. That is your action. All right, Lilith. I need you. I need you make a death save. Roll a d20, please. Does not matter. No, no. Two. Two. Yeah, you die. (gasps) Because she was in Moonbeam, she took two. Oh. She took two fails. You take two fails when you're in. While you're in damage, if you're damaged while you're down. Lilith just passed away. Wait, can no, she be no. resuscitated? I spare the dead. Or, no, I have, I have. There's, <laughs> there's special play. things, but right now she is dead. What are you doing, girl? I died! 
Wait, but is it, but Willem Beam has been dropped. Yeah. It's dropped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can we erase it? I am, I am, I am, am I still oh, raging, right? Am I still raging? Yeah. I just let out the most dragon sounding, like, like, just, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. screams with you. All right. Rowan. Uh, yeah. Can I, can I ask the angel to fly me over to Moira? It gives you a nod, like, it will when it can but oh, it, can, so it currently can. cannot. No, it's an initiative order, unfortunately. It's an initiative order. On its turn, it's not. Oh. So she can hold her action to that point? Yep, yeah, she can. You can hold your action as this angel will pick you up on its action. All right, I'll hold my action. action. Okay, so you hold your action. What are you holding? Like an attack or a spell? Because you're currently a creature. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're, you're holding attack. your attack. Great, sounds good. All right, that is what you're going to do. So Lala. Um, so which came back and saved I'm you. just going to... Fly 35 feet okay. towards Moira. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 35. Right there. Um, are you below your max hit points right now? After mm-hmm. you're yeah. done? I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to unleash an arrow into you. I'll shoot her into that eye. Um, 24. That'll okay. hit. Um, ah, should have started. Oh, Moira's in well, there. Well, it's like, <laughs> I already shot. <laughs> Um, oh, Jesus. So that's 10 points of damage. I love how Lilith's so passionate from the 15 points of damage, <laughs> and I didn't cast marked enemy, or hunter's marked yet. No. 15 so total? Yeah. you take 15, and, and I'm going to yeah. cast hunter's mark now, because I forgot. And, ah, does a 19 hit? No. Damn it. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, the second arrow misses. <laughs> but you've <laughs> cast hunter's mark, and it's... Yeah. You currently have your, your mark, and it's Moira, or what Moira is right now. All right. Exactly. Sounds good. That is your turn, Lilith. Uh, not Lilith. Uh, Lala. It is now the angel's turn. As the angel nods to you, <laughs> uses its full action to scoop you up into its arms. This giant. This giant. Yeah. <laughs> Allosaurus. It's kind of heavy, but it can fly. And it flies. And it shakes. It's an attempt to fly. And it drops you off directly in front of Moira. <laughs> you can roll to attack as it drops you onto her. If you well, yeah. Um, what did you want it to go? Because I wanted listening. to drop me just, uh, like 20 feet in front of her. Okay. So, so you, you do charge her? Have, you do not have movement. Oh, okay. All right. Then never mind. Then okay. right up on her. You want her. it right in front of you. Okay. Let's go. Not magical. Yep. So would this count as what I have resistance against what she just rolled? No, that's there's a okay. there's a wall coming down right now. So, yes. All right. Um, okay. So... Things are not quite as strong oh. as they will be in a moment. So a 12 won't hit, right? No, unfortunately not. Okay. Um, let me try one more. Just trying to just try <laughs> normal try dinosaur. Bite again. Yeah. Oh, no, it definitely won't. All right, so you just right. start clawing against Moira, but lots of armor. It's very hard to, to I, attempt I'm to attack her, penetrate her. I'm biting whatever's on her neck. Right. Whatever, whatever armor is there, that's where I am. I'm yeah, like right up on, your, on the face. Biting hard, biting hard. So, um, she's just like whole metallic on yes. the face. Just as the bind mm-hmm. arm, right? Yeah. Um, okay, well, that is now it's Dranishka's turn. What do you want to do? Great. Dranishka. 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 Listen, okay. So there's no guys in front of me. No, but Moira is here, yeah. and you can use your full action and movement if you wish. What's your speed do? Fifth. It's 40, it says, but I think it went up 10, but I'm not sure. So 40 or 50. Okay. So we'll see. You, well, know. you can use your full action to get to Moira. That's let's, enough. That's yes, enough let's do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, You can get right next to Moira. Good. Using your full action and your movement. All right, that's it. I have a bonus. You do, not, you do not have. You have a bonus. You have a bonus action, but you cannot hit on your bonus action. You can just scream at her if you want. And I'm still raging, or do I need to go on another rage? rage. You're still raging. Yeah, you're good. A bonus action. I cannot even just poke her. You can poke her. You you (laughs) poke her on your bonus action. It doesn't do much. (laughs) No, I want to poke that eye. You poke the eye? Yeah. Yeah. Poke that eye. I want to poke the eye real. Roll a hit to poke the eye. (laughs) (laughs) What? Where? Fifteen. Fifteen. You, you, you're trying to get to the eye, but she's she's able to move like like it's a hard, tiny little dot, you know, in the center. I'm going of her to forehead. get you. I'm going to get you. Let right. Mora out. Fauna, it's your turn. I'm running to Lilith. All right, and I'm going to cast Revivify on her. All right. Revivify. So you're back to one hit point. 
awake. So she's awake. Yeah, she's okay. alive. Oh. Yes. Um. <coughs> Guys. <laughs> and then with my bonus action, I'm I'm moving my phoenix right to attack her again. Your what? My spiritual weapon. Remember yeah. the phoenix? I mean, yeah, it's, it's like soaring extra, around. It's like, like super big. It's soaring it's around. It's super big. I'm yeah. telling it, get her Go again. Get her. All right. It soars. It uses that movement. It's moving at the speed of Lysander itself. It's not really a spiritual weapon. It's almost a and I'm, And while I'm doing it, I'm calling... <laughs> Yes. While I'm do- while yeah. I'm doing it, I'm calling to Lathander. I'm saying Lathander, Lathander, Phoenix, do what you must. We right. must defeat evil. Roll to hit with your spiritual weapon with advantage. Okay. Yeah, this is very strong. With advantage. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, critical hit. <laughs> okay. What, your spiritual weapon, what is the highest level of damage your spiritual weapon can do? Like, it's 1d8 for every level. Uh, no. Yeah, every two slot levels above second. Above second. So, all right. At, at whatever level. At the, well, we're going to put it, because of the current wall status, let's make it 68. So, can you roll 68? Oops. Oh, so shaking the wall, the wall status, the status of the wall, because it's not like pure. It's like there's a filter going on, and you guys can feel it. It's very strange. I need, yeah, I need the eight. So we have eight, three, three, four. How many? Six. Yeah. Here. Five. I got six. Okay. Six. I'm not good at math. You can teach it long time. Twenty-seven. Puts you for twenty-seven. All right. This phoenix just claws at you. That is your action, your bonus action, and this one is yours. There you go. All right. So with that, this phoenix, this black eyes, just look at it, withstanding the force. All right. Moira, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to... Can I have you make... A wisdom yeah. saving throw. Saving throw? This time. Yeah. Twenty-two. Okay. There is a moment. A moment that you feel like something was in your head. And right now, your eyes come back to your eyes, but you do not have control of your body and you are witnessing everything that's happening. You have no voice. You are just watching. I can't influence it in any way? Not right now. What do you do? Okay. Um, I'm going to... What is it? Mm. Going to moonbeam again. Okay. This time trying to hit the angel. Okay. And yeah. The, um, it's quite big. Phoenix. Okay. The angel and the phoenix. Yep. Right here. This time at fourth level. Okay. The angel's quite large, so you're going to have to use a good portion mm-hmm. of the spell around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. Can I still hit the phoenix as well? Yes. You okay. are hitting the phoenix. The phoenix right. is right yes. in the square. Yeah. This moonbeam is going to hit them. Mm-hmm. Or 16. Mine's just a special weapon, so... It is, but right now it's taken true form. So it's going to have similar hit points to this angel. Oh. Um, yeah. You can handle that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Tw- we have disadvantage on saving those. Sounds good. So this moonbeam... <laughs> Hits on them, hits for 12, you said? Or 16. 16. 16. Yeah, you hit them both pretty hard and strong. And there's this like painful mixture of light and darkness right now. This moonbeam that's getting called from the sky by Moira, it's not a moonbeam you've seen of hers before. And it's like light and darkness hitting one another. It's disturbing. And it's, there's a, there's a force. There's a, there's something speaking beyond them right now. And 
the query is them. You want to get rid of them. Yeah. As yes. this is happening, she's just shrieking in this voice that keeps getting higher and higher and higher and more distressed. Bring me Lathander's head. Bring me Lathander's head. Bring me Lathander's head. As yeah. she's calling this thing down. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> that is your action. That is my action. Mm -hmm. um, as my bonus action, I'm going to misty step 60 feet away. Same position? <laughs> right back here? Um, no. 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 This way? Yeah. All right. A little bit far. I can count them. Sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. All the way over there. Yep. <laughs> Just completely missing steps. And you guys look around and you catch that Moira has now bamped around to the other corner. <laughs> bringing you guys on a chase. Lilith, you're up. Um, Do you want to stand up? Have your action? I'm going uh, to have your movement. Sure. Okay. Stand up, and Ooh. then I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Sounds good. Um, which is... Eight. So do I, I roll one D8, and then if I do it on the second level, do I roll an additional, an additional two? D8, yep. Yeah. Or just one? Uh, additional. It's, it's, I believe it says one D8 or two D8 on the spell. I'll let you... Read that yeah, in. One uh, it's one d8 for, for each slot. Yeah, up. there we go. So you'll, so you'll cast it at total, second. You'll casting it second, second level, level, then two total d8s. Okay. Plus your, plus your um, spell 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 spell. Spell. What's that? <laughs> Where do Whenever I you that? cast spells, the number you add. Mm -hmm. It's usually on your spell sheet. Lisa. Yeah, it's on top of there. Usually, it's not the attack. Do you have a spell sheet? No. What's your charisma modifier? I never Free. add. I've so never added anything on my spells. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, we learn, learn something new every day. For now, roll that um, three. For now, roll 2d8 and roll n, add 3 to it. Okay. Add 3? Mm -hmm. Okay. For now. So, okay. And then we'll calculate that and we'll make sure 11. we have all those numbers correct down the road. All right. All right. So, so, so you heal up. spell attack modifier every time I do Moonbeam, for No. Instance? Your spell attack modifier does not get added to. Oh. It's, it's, it's like only if it's like a, like, yeah. So then I get a if bonus a specific or a, yeah. If it's like, uh, okay. if it's one way they have to make a save, you don't add the. Okay. Okay. So I get an attack. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Uh, that's a full action to do cure wounds, but you do have a bonus action if you wish to inspire anybody at this moment. You do but have friends I, around I you. I have College of Valor, so if I get two attacks, then... Yes, no, but an know. attack is different than an action. It relies on you having made your first... That's the same thing that, yeah, Drunishka was dealing with. But you do have your bonus action, and you can use inspiration on your bonus action. You do have friends around you who might need it. Who needs ins I need inspiration. You cannot inspire um, yourself yet, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Down the road you can. What's inspiration? When you add, yeah, you can give a die to okay, add I'll, to someone's rolls. I'll give um, Fauna, Fauna. Arctic inspiration. Thank you. Do you have combat inspiration though? Yes, I do. Isn't that one d eight? Yeah, in combat. Yeah. So what does that mean? You're giving her one d eight. You give her one d eight, and this means you essentially you essentially touch her back, say something welcoming and warming. Or it's anything. okay. We'll get through this together. Okay. Never choose a god over friends. <laughs> <laughs> and you now have a 1d8 to use at any point within this uh, to, you know, for spell attacks or anything like that. Okay, moving along. Good job. Rowan, your turn. Yeah. So I'm going to go all the way up to Moira. Yes, I can go 60 feet. Oh, oh nice. nice. So you try to run it all the way up. Yeah, you, my bite reach yeah, is five feet. So nice. I'm going to try to bite her again. Yeah. Yeah, roll it. <laughs> uh, just 11. But I'm going to try to bite again. All right. Bite I'm going to use a better die. Yeah. Oh, nat 20. Oh, yeah. 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 Go for damage, so, dinosaur. So, <laughs> uh, I'm, it says the stats I can either roll or just accept what, it's, what it says. You would roll for damage. 2d10 plus 2D10. 4. Okay. Why does it give a number? That's just for like the, the DM if they want to go. Yeah, sometimes like, DMs do like flat, oh, flat amounts because it's okay. easier. I don't really do that. But okay. Uh, 13. 13. 13 points of piercing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but you get to double it because she Oh, yeah, it was an at 20. Oh! 20. So that's actually 26, 26 points. Plus 26 plus 4, so 30. Moira's down. Okay. <gasps> okay. You, can we just, can you tell me how this bite is 36 points of damage on oh, Moira yeah. as you're I'm, charging her? I'm going for the face again because I hate that eye. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, I can kind of see Moira's eyes. I recognize that I see poor little Moira in there. And I, like, slow blink at her the way a cat blinks, I love you. Just to be like, I know you would want me to do this. Like, yes. Okay. You do so. And then I put her, you head. Put her head. And you rip 
grip it and you throw her up like a dog with a toy and you slam her down. Can I decapitate her? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Unfortunately, that would be flavor text, but that would be an intentional thing, but unfortunately, we can't do that. However, Lala, what do you want to do? Is what? So Moira's down? Moira's down. But, but she's yeah, down. Not, is she still covered in eyes? <clears throat> yeah. Can't, uh... Get her out. Is it what? Take off the armor. I guess I'll... It's my skin. What? They don't know that yet, though. No. Wow. Yeah, but her face is metallic. Can't, can't like, I, like... Her face like, is yeah, her skin is off, metallic. Like, fly over and scrape off some of those vines sure. and stuff? I'll say that you use your full action and your movement. You, you fly over, and you just try to get a lay of the line. Roll a perception check. Can roll about 30, uh, five times. Uh, 19. Out of that. You can roll, you can move right there. 19. 19? Yeah, so you're flying yeah. over and you're trying to get an understanding of what's happening as you're flying over and you use mm -hmm. your perception to look. As you're looking at M M Moira, these eyes are still like twitching and like it's almost like like they're still holding on to whatever fabric they can, but the, everything around you right now is like melding and morphing in this strange way. Uh, can I just start? Uh... What, what was the chant? Follow the light. The light will guide you home. Yeah. I'm just going to start yelling that <laughs> into the sky. What happens is this. This angel, it's its action. It's its turn. Moonbeam dropped on it. It looks to you all. And this is the first time you've hear, heard a voice at all. And you just hear, I'm sorry and it flies directly to Moira, and you see its claw, this beautiful mace, ignited in its hand, go up and smash down. And that's gonna be the end of our show today. What? What? No, you have to roll. Moira's dead. What? It is an auto hit. Because she's prone. Um, yeah. And she's down, and I'm she's at out. zero, yeah. Okay. That's two, two death saves failed. Auto. So, so she doesn't get. And this is where we end. Yeah, and we can talk about how much damage that was, eventually. But for now, the season ended <gasps> with the mace of a god, of the uh, angel of a god hitting into Moira, uh, if it was Moira. Well, anyway, hey Chan, how you doing? This oh is where god. we're ending our season, apparently. Uh, She's too pleased. And my minute is I think that was amazing. I think that was amazing. Uh, that, that was kind of great. Yeah. That was kind of, wow, the dice were totally telling the story on this one. Yeah. There was no way a DM could predict any of those rules. That was a fantastic. I mean, I could, That was my, it, my ones killed it all. We no almost day. lost a bunch of people. We might. Oh we, no, we might have lost more. No, we'll figure. No. We will find a way. Maybe she wanted to. Maybe she wanted to. Long rest. I'm out, of, I'm, out of, I'm out of spell slots. No. <laughs> yeah, we need long rest. I know, but revivify is only within one minute of death. I can. Re I can revive oh. her. Oh Maybe my gosh! But she has one death save left. Right? Yeah. I have one death save left. I mean, I can spare the dying. This does but also, I don't know if I'm sparing. Eighty-three points of damage. Then I'm. I'm done. Oh no! She's gone. Oh nuts! Well, welcome well, guess to we'll our stream. <laughs> welcome to the weirdest, craziest episode of our entire stream. Go on YouTube and catch up because it's bonkers right now. What a season! Remember to follow us all on social media. <laughs> <laughs> on at Colin Coleman. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a hero wizard, Kelly. Y e r. Y e r. A. Anyone else? Anyway, going? Uh, thank, we love around. you all. Thank you for thank you. going on this journey with us. Bravo um, to Miss Rachel Seeley oh playing a very difficult character oh in that moment. Gosh. Oh wow, that was that was really great. She had all of these level twenty stats. The worst part you is, is that you, the worst part is is that she saw all of the end. She saw all of it. Uh, she saw her death. You're not dead yet. You're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Hope. We will find out in the next season. But you so. guys, you, what, you guys. Not really. The but dice only told us as much yeah. as we were going to. Well, Set I think I was supposed to, it. Minute Can Save a Life, and that did not. That would have been insane. That was but yeah. insane. But two natural ones, I mean. That was uh, insane. What could we have done? Yeah, it was not meant to happen. You can't fake that shit. I know, we went a little over. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you to our crew. 
Thank you for watching us this season and yeah, for going we, on this journey. We love you. Thanks, Princess of Coast, Dungeons and Dragons. Just follow us, and we'll um, be doing a giveaway of a water bottle on our social media at Girls Gets Glory. And a t shirt. A Dungeons and Dragons t shirt. Oh, and a DD t shirt. So and just, we'll be doing giveaways on our social media, so stay tuned and check yeah. us out. And and also we'll let you know as soon as we know when we'll be back. So yeah. much love on you guys. that cliffhanger. All right, and see you soon on, or on you. social. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs>